Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Randomly Generated Podcast, which is a giant bucket of fail today, but it is going anyway. I am, of course, joined by my co-host, Ginger Dragon. And I actually know how to start a stream sometimes. I just stream started fine. I just accidentally stopped it. <laughs> While trying to start it. Yes. The, the stream was going it, it, until I stopped it. Yeah. I, uh, it's a day. Like, today, I don't know what is up with me today. My, I am brain dead today. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and move on to our guest. Our guest streamer is uh, Digisuna. Is it Suna or Tisuna? Uh, Suna. I figured it was And silent. I, too, also break streams, so don't worry. We're both in the same boat. <laughs> okay, it's D- is Digi's fault. Is it Diggy? Digi? I've never been... Digi, Digi, as in digital. I have never heard someone call him Diggy. Okay, <laughs> just making sure. I've been called Doggy, Diggy... Doogie. Yep. Doogie. <laughs> Doogie. <laughs> That's great. Well, I can understand Diggity. that one. Where's the... I don't know. But he will just say weird stuff. <laughs> there you go. That's what I get called in the chat right now. Dougie Tuna. Dougie Tuna. <laughs> nobody can say my name right. <laughs> Dougie Tuna. <laughs> I like it. <clears throat> anyway, he Digit is a sauna. streamer, which happens to have a British accent, which was not intentional. It was a happy accident. I sure. swear to God. I swear to God. <laughs> No, it was. How it many was podcasts in a row have we had someone who has a non-American accent, Fedora? I think the better question is how many podcasts have we had in general that ha- didn't have anyone with an accent on it. Like it's very yeah, rare. Exactly. <laughs> it's not on purpose. Yes, it is. <clears throat> For those of you don't know, Fedora has a fetish. <laughs> British accents, Australian accents. You know, just the good accents. It's there's worse fetishes to have, damn it. <laughs> anyway, I don't our, know. I mean, there there are worse mean. ones. Trust me. I mean, just Google Bad Dragon. Oh God, don't do it. Don't Google Bad Dragon. Let's not go down that road again. We went over this already last podcast. Uh, it was the one before last, I think. Uh. But do, it, I feel, I'm sorry if you guys just Googled that. Please don't do that. Anyway, our move on, Fedora, damn yes, it. let's move on. Our indie game dev guest this week is Leth, also known as Griffin Matta on Twitter. He works on all the cool indie games. <laughs> I'm trying, basically. <laughs> I wondered because, as you know, I didn't know you had your hand in so many things until I saw you stream with Tenshi and looked at your Twitter bio and whatnot, but. You don't belong to a one single dev team, do you? Uh, it no, it doesn't seem like it, does it? <laughs> yeah, it seems like you're doing freelance stuff. Is that how it works, pretty much? Well, I um I work for Yeti Trunk. I started Yeti Trunk up with Jason Gordy, but um he and I have both kind of taken side projects uh, from time to time, or at least he he had, um, and then I kind of. Uh, since I've gotten in bed with Chucklefish, they've asked me to work on a couple projects that they brought in um, just to help out, like with Risk of Rain. When they brought Risk of Rain on, they were like, can you add online multiplayer to the game? And I was like, okay. So I had to take a couple months aside from uh, Wanderlust Adventures and work on that. And then uh, Witch Marsh also was looking for online multiplayer, and so I reached out to them and uh, got on another project too, and then now there are Chucklefish games <laughs> as well. So yeah, no, I guess I've Almost been more like freelance lately than than you know sitting around and doing my own thing. But um, I just want to make games. It doesn't it doesn't matter to me if I'm doing it for you know helping someone else or doing my own stuff all the time. Hey, exactly. Especially if you you know like the project you're working on and it looks like you work on only the badass projects so <laughs> yeah I'm all, yeah that's <laughs> also, it I seems that like you're filter. acting like the PR guy for Chucklefish I mean you're the one going around finding the games and bringing them in <laughs> yeah they that's that's part of my role with with Chucklefish a little bit they they uh they have me talk to new recruits and uh, <laughs> tell them what Chucklefish is about and that they should come on board and stuff like that yeah I do that a little bit too Jugglefish, I have a lot of respect for because they they have good taste. Like all the games they have underneath them are badass so far that I've seen, and mm-hmm. 
you know, they're very passionate about great indie games, so. Oh, yeah, they are. And they're, uh, work, they got a new team working on a new game, uh, like a pirate themed Zelda Ooh. roguelike or something. Uh, it's still in concept phases, but I got to see some, some stuff when That's... I went to London. That sounds amazing. Yeah, it's it looks awesome, and they they asked me to make that game too. I was like, oh my god, okay. <laughs> like, I the the multiplayer so or a, they like... just wanted me to make the whole game. They're oh. like, can you just make this game too? <laughs> <laughs> like, sure. I got I got I got other stuff I'm working on, and we'll see. I don't know. <laughs> so that was going to be one of my questions. Is that's what you worked on in Risk of Rain, which is what we'll be playing later in the podcast. By the way, was the multiplayer? Yeah, specifically, I was brought on to do multiplayer and. Uh, I did a few other things like helping optimize the game and uh, the Steam achievements and Steam integration. But but yeah, multiplayer is definitely the what I'm credited with with the game. So when we're playing multiplayer and wonky shit happens like enemies that aren't on everyone's screen, we should just yell, damn it, left? Yeah, that's if you die especially, yeah, that'd be my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I give give left credit though. Multiplayer is an extremely difficult thing to program. It's especially something like Risk of Rain with so many things to track on screen at one given time. Mm-hmm. That was a big that's a that was a big scare factor for the game. Uh, one of my concerns with it, if it'd be able to get if it'd be able to work, was the sheer number of enemies that are generated. Especially and, if uh, you do like three so or four laps just for the hell of it, then it gets crazy. <laughs> God. So basically, we're just lucky that rubber banding is the worst of our worst. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What what does go wrong? Like that's that's nothing. Yeah, it's it's it may not be perfect, but it's honestly better than I would expect in most cases with so much going on on screen. So, mm -hmm. and so, Wanderlust is the uh, by the company that you technically are a part of, not freelancing stuff in the Wanderlust franchise. mm Hmm. Yeah, I'm the lead designer and programmer on one of those adventures. So one of those rebirth is out already. It's fewer. It's a few years old now, but uh, we expect to have adventures done later this year. Wanderlust. Uh, I actually own Wanderlust Le Rebirth. I just checked my Steam library, but I don't believe I've ever played nice. it. I have a lot That's of games cool. I've never played. I have so many no, games. I, I know that the Steam thing. I don't. Uh, I don't. I take no offense. <laughs> I should play it though. It's on my list of. I really want to play these games, and I might do that before I die. Yeah, it's definitely a co-op centered uh, game experience, though. So going into single player is. Uh, we we didn't design it to be a single player game. I mean, you can do it, but I highly recommend co-op. Hmm. I should play it sometime before adventures come out, because then you know I I want to be able to play that, and I'd feel wrong not playing the original. <laughs> Well, since you have Rebirth, you will get some extra characters to play as in, Re uh, in Adventures. So oh, that's cool. Just just owning it kind of unlocks some... It's like a it's like our DLC, but it's like pre-launch. <laughs> so if you own Rebirth, you'll get extra content in Adventures. Hear that? So watch for sales and grab Rebirth when it comes on sale. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. For those bonuses right there. So, uh, Adventures, is there any kind of ETA on when that's coming out? I mean, all we've been telling people is this year, and we've been saying maybe a couple more months until beta, but we've been saying that for the past eight months, so, <laughs> <laughs> like, I, we're, we're at a good, we're at a good stage in development, and we're adding content and finishing up the, <clears throat> the main quest storyline, uh, I I don't know. It it's I think it's really close. It's hard to judge um because I'm also the debugger and uh you know, lead tester and stuff like that. So I get distracted constantly with <laughs> bugs and keeps me from adding content. So when it's ready is the answer. Yeah, we yep. we really wanted to have it ready for PAX, which is the end of next month. Are you going to PAX Prime? Yeah, I'm going to be there. I'm going to hunt you uh, down. I'm going to PAX Prime. I'm <laughs> so yeah, excited. Uh, I'm gonna be on a panel actually at PAX. What panel? Uh, Ooh, nice. It's about procedural generation in indie games. Holy crap! I and should go to that panel. Yeah, it, I'm gonna be on with the Don't Starve developer and Crypto the Necrodancer and Risk of Rain. I think oh might my be God. 
so many uh, good people right there. Gonna be on that too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I I've, think that's why we got approved. <laughs> I've never been to a, a a convention before, or an expo at all, so I'm really noob to this. But like, how how is it to get into like how do I get into that panel to watch that panel? Is there like some secret method to that, or do you have I to get imagine... special tickets? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I oh, I, I doubt it. I, I'm sure it'll be in some large hall where like a you know. 50 to 100 people can fit into it and then it's uh it's going to be on Sunday the 31st I think it was okay so oh I'm not in I only got two day passes I got Friday and Saturday damn it oh no that Aww. sucks oh no yeah because we all three day passes were gone even when my my brother was camping the tickets right when it when they tweeted it, he got in like within a few minutes in the queue and all three day passes were gone oh yeah yeah, yeah. we we lucked out um uh, jason was just on their website and just kind of messing around and all of a sudden it like broke while he tried to click on something as what and he refreshed and it's like tickets on sale and so he just bought four four day passes like right there like instantly you didn't get like a presenter pass later huh you didn't get presenter passes since you're on a panel well, I think I'm gonna get, yeah i think i'll i should be getting uh another pass for being on the panel but we didn't know we yeah were gonna that's be the thing a, is a lot of press and presenter passes don't know if they're going to get those until after the tickets go on sale which is, <laughs> is a bad situation for that yeah that's backwards mm -hmm. that's it, it could be, be better way around yeah damn it i want to see that panel too i mean look at the name of my podcast I, that's i'm into procedural generation quite large largely i love things <laughs> with that so uh hopefully it gets recorded so i can see it somewhere but i'm still going to Hunt you down sometime during the during packs. Oh yeah, man! I'll be hanging out probably mostly between the Risk of Rain uh, booth and and Crypt of the Necrodancer booth, assuming that they have one, uh, or Darkest Dungeon. Oh, Darkest right. Dungeon! The Twitch guys too. I, yeah, those. I want to see all those game. guys I've met before, and and our audio guys are from those teams, so. We'll, That's awesome. We'll probably be assembling there and. So I'm have you played Darkest Dungeon? Do they have? Do you have like a secret dev alpha build of it yet? Hmm. How should I answer this question? <laughs> I, I think that's a <laughs> yes, actually. Otherwise, you wouldn't be dodging the question at all. So, damn, I'm so jealous of you because that game looked fantastic when it was on Kickstarter. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I might. <laughs> well, the Kickstarter video looked fantastic. We can all agree <laughs> about that, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was incredible. <laughs> Which we spotlight on this very podcast when that was running. Oh yeah, that's yeah. That game's uh, really popular, and so I can see why. Those devs are going to PAX as well. Yeah, well, I'm assuming they have a booth since they've been featured on the the Indie Mega Booth uh, Twitch channel over and over for the past like month. Oh, yeah. Awesome! I hope they have so something playable there. It. <laughs> yeah, and I think uh, they had a booth at PAX East, which like guarantees you a booth at the next PAX if you want it, or something like that. Mm. Some, I don't know, the rules are strange with the whole booth thing. Uh, I heart, if I you heart really I... look into the back of PAX, though, it's a, everything's strange. <laughs> it's a bit like Valve, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just like the living version of Steam. <laughs> I heart Pi Gaming, I know that guy, he's a, he's a YouTuber. Yes, he is, and he had a good question. Uh, why did Rebirth come before Adventure? It's a good question. Rebirth seems like a sequel name. Uh. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we um we were working on a Wanderlust called Wanderlust: The Online Adventure back in 2004, and we, uh, I pretty much I was kind of spearheading that project, and I, and I had an idea where I wanted to go which was a lot like what Adventures is. But um, I just thought it was too large of a project for our team to handle. It was uh, myself, another coder, and Jason Gordy, the artist from Adventures and Rebirth. And I was just like, eh, we're not going to finish this game. Let's just stop. Um, so we canceled the the game. And then uh, about six months later, we're, we're like, oh, I still want to make a Wonderless game. Let's start over. And then so we called it Rebirth. That's a very it's fitting. Kind of different. Yeah, <laughs> and so it's actually a hey, sequel from to the a developer game. developer standpoint, from yeah. the consumer, it's just like what? Hey, the yeah. first one? <laughs> it's a sequel to a game that never existed. Right. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. that's perfect. 
You know, that's it's kind of the same similar story to like Final Fantasy. You know where the name Final Fantasy came from? Yeah, because it yeah, was supposed to be their last game. Their yeah. last yeah. <laughs> It was their last shot at being successful. They knew if it failed, the company would go under. And then wow. Square Enix wouldn't exist today if that had happened, but it was successful. And then it became you know their main one of their main franchises that they have com- yeah. completely butchered and driven into the ground. <laughs> Hey. That's a great story, though. I love that story. It is. It's so clever. It's awesome. It's uh, games like Final Fantasy that put me into the course that I'm doing for game design. You're in for game design, huh? Jeez. Yeah. I have only one here that's not a game dev, because Ginger Dragon is going to college for game design as well. Yep. I'm the least uh, talented person that. here. I wouldn't that's why you get that. to host the podcast. Right? <laughs> See, you kn- I just know how to use the computer. You know how the computer works. So if I ever get boned, I- I'm going to need you. <laughs> True. I mean, I do work IT for a Fortune 500 company, but... Yeah. Wow. It sounds more impressive <laughs> than it is. It's the- it's like low-end IT, but still, I- it's a job I started <laughs> about six months ago, and I really enjoy, so... But I'm just not a creative person. That's where I really lack any kind of talent. I mean, my artistic skills are like stick figures with boobs on them. It's about as far as it goes. That's okay. You're a step above above me. (laughs) (laughs) I get the stick. That's about it. (laughs) Okay. The boobs are hard. Those curves, man. Yeah. Control circles. Get dizzy. (laughs) Yeah. But in, in creativity, you know, I, I, I'm not a good writer. I, I, like, when it comes to creativity and such, like, for video games, I would fail at that. So, yeah, I, I have no creativity side. I'm a technical person. <laughs> so I just read the chat a little bit more. Wanderlust 1. That'd be... Oh, we're, we're, we're trying to... Uh, sorry, no segue powers here. Uh, we're, <laughs> we, we're trying to separate... Adventures from Rebirth. Um, the combat's similar, but um, the game is, it just plays completely different. It's a totally different game. It's in the same universe. Um, the character classes are similar, but evolved from the first game. And so we were like, I was like, I don't even want a semicolon in the name of this, this one. <laughs> Let's just go Wanderlust Adventures. Hmm. And uh, I, think, I think a lot of people bought Rebirth thinking it was going to be what Adventures is. Which is like a free roam adventure game online with your friends, which is like, you know, everybody's dream game. Every time Elder Scrolls comes out, it's like co op, please, you know? Like, right. <laughs> but, <laughs> like that middle uh, ground that between Elder, Scroll, Elder Scrolls Online, who's had anything. Oh, about right. That? Yeah. Elder Scrolls Online is their <laughs> co op. Their, their thousand person co op, though. Not, I mean, we, I don't care about that. I want like two, three player mm-hmm. Elder Scrolls, and I don't have to log in and pay monthly to play it. That's yeah. what I want. I never really saw the appeal behind the MMO version of Elder Scrolls because it was just like, you know, Elder Scrolls is a game about going around, you know, being dumped into this world, exploring it and finding new things because you're the most powerful person alive. But then you turn to an MMO, it's like, well, <laughs> there's all these other people who are just like you. You're not yeah. like there or anything. Yeah, that's, yeah, I totally, I totally know what you mean there. And that's, that's the issue with the, the theme park setup mm-hmm. yep. that I have. That's a whole other uh, discussion. I'm sure you guys no, have had I, that. I agree with park. you on that. I'm very disenchanted with the whole theme park MMOs these days. I used to be a hardcore MMO player, and none of them have interested me at all in the last like three, four years. I played Guild Wars when it came out. I just to too. break the server rankings for World vs. World with my <laughs> guild by moving us to the lowest ranked one when we were on the highest ranked one. The devs kind of the one the devs of arena net that I spoke to were kind of like you're an ass, and I was. Stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> well, well. <laughs> completely ruined their entire world as well. They had to completely redesign the way that it works, and then I just stopped. Well, wow, your entire the... guild was disbanded. <laughs> you're not kidding that you break shit, are you? <laughs> I'm really good at breaking things. Uh, it's a developer's nightmare. Like me just being on here makes me nervous. <laughs> yeah, so, watch. Risk of Rain is the... just gonna shit itself inside out when we're playing it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, for... Don't worry about it, Left. I've got like thirty game ideas. I'll just throw some at you, and when you start making them, we'll break them. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll get to break them too, then and get you back. 
that reminds me of my my uh, little YouTube series where I look at uh, games that are still in development. Like the first two episodes, I came in knowing full well that there were some pretty nasty and interesting bugs in these games that I would just flesh out in the video and see what I could do with. But then I get to the third video, I'm just like, I don't know of any bugs in this game. And immediately after that, I completely break the game's audio. Ah. Uh. Wow. <laughs> It's just like, well, there's the bug. <laughs> you issued the challenge and it responded. Yeah. It was actually heavy bullets, like, I just oh, annihilate God. the audio. I don't even know how. Heavy bullets it's a great game. Working. But now, which game is that? Heavy bullets. Uh, heavy bullets. Oh. I think I saw that when you were doing it on here. Yeah, we did cover it on here. It was that one where you've just got the revolver and you fire the bullet. Yeah, the voxel yeah. style. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you have that to collect cool. your I ammo is the, the thing about that game. You have uh, the, a limited amount of bullets, so you just keep re-picking them up and reloading them. Giant bullets. It's like huge bullets. <laughs> but the uh, around if you ignore them. Yes. Yep. It's a very interesting game. With It's a roguelite, you know, uh, randomly generated permadeath and all that good stuff that we all love so much, so... At least I assume Digi does. I don't know. I know me and Dragon play a lot of those games. I play a lot. Of, look well, I played a lot of roguelikes until I recently updated my computer, and then I was like, right now I can play real games. Well, <laughs> more powerful games. Shots I was like, wow, that was <laughs> was insulting thing to say to an indie dev. <laughs> indie games? No, I play real games. <laughs> <laughs> wow, all right. You realize, did you that my YouTube channel is entirely indie games, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay, Ginger Dragon, go ahead and kick him out of the call now. You don't have a real YouTube channel. <laughs> the door, I'm sorry. <laughs> Tiny <laughs> Pixels is here. Do you guys know Tiny Pixels? Uh, it sounds familiar. It sounds so familiar. She's a, another streamer. Ah. And uh, one time Digi raided my channel and I saw her name, so I just assumed it was her that was raiding. And I was like, I did this big thing for <laughs> oh, her. God. And Digi was like, Face palm. Just... <laughs> <laughs> right. The like, thing dude. is, my raid message is Digi Monkeys. Right. My name is Tiny Which... Pixels. Yeah, I know. I I was like, why would she use that raid? <laughs> oh. I was like, that's, kind of weird, that's why I, heard I remember. I, I'm pretty sure. T I remember hearing about her in Tenchi stream recently. I believe it was. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll have to check her stuff out. And you know what, Tiny Pixels? Sit, give me a second here. She's actually really into indie games. Um, the Oya console that come out that's pretty much just indie everything. She has one. She does a spotlight on Thursday nights. Oh, it's nice. really good stuff. She's a great streamer. Wait, there's more than two people that own an Oya? Well, <laughs> she's fair, one of the two. <laughs> to, to, to be fair, today <laughs> she was using it as a giant like table. So, $8 million table. Fair enough. But uh, Tiny Pixels, go ahead and throw a link to your stream channel in the chat. I mod you so you could. Can you link Twitch TV in the Hitbox uh, chat? Yes. It, it's just a link. <laughs> it's just a link. <laughs> They're not vicious like fans that. Fans, you? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Twitch these days anyway, but... There was something I was going to say about uh, Adventure, where you're talking about the large uh, multiplayer open world type game. There isn't many that fit into that into that uh, category for games wise. It's the the mid ground between you know traditional multiplayer games and a full on MMO, where it's some kind of persistent kind of persistent world multiplayer stuff. And actually, that sounds really cool because there isn't many that fall into that category outside of things like Diablo series. Yeah, I. I uh, I'm kind of surprised at that. Maybe it's just really hard to do. Well, I mean, it is really hard to do. But <laughs> so to um, say, you made it. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, um, it is challenging. Um, but you know, our our production values are a little bit lower than you know those Elder Scrolls and things like that. Mm -hmm. But um, just a little they bit. Just, if, Not much. If they just released a you know uh, an update or whatever to let you uh, play with a friend on Skyrim, I would. It, I wouldn't be able to finish one of the last adventures. It'd be over. Like, there's a mod that does that, I believe, but it's they, very yeah, they wonky. On it. Yeah, mm -hmm. they've been working on it for ages, and it's they do that with every Elder Scrolls. It never pans out, and it's yeah. Like, they, Everybody's you know, like, even the mod makers we like, we that. know everyone wants this. We're gonna try to do it since Bethesda won't, and then it never ends up that great. 
Well, yeah, they they assumed. Uh, I mean, it's it's classic. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Howard. Who's the main developer? Uh, Todd Howard. And he's like, people want dragons and co-op. Those are the two most requested features in Elder Scrolls games. And we got dragons in Skyrim, and now we're adding co-op with Elder Scrolls Online. And it's like, no! That's not the same. You missed That's quite what we were going set. for. <laughs> That's not what we miss. meant at all. Ugh. I, like a multiplayer Skyrim would make a great YouTube series, you know? That'd be awesome. It's just well, like that's that's player. what everyone bought Elder Scrolls Online for. Everyone was like, "Yes, it's going to be like multiplayer Skyrim," and then when it wasn't Skyrim. Everyone was like, "I'm not playing this anymore." <laughs> <laughs> well, it's uh, I've played I played Elder Scrolls Online, and for for a theme park, I had some good moments with it, but I just couldn't get myself to pay monthly for that experience. Like, <laughs> um, but uh, it's not too far away from Skyrim. <clears throat> Other than the characters having little icons floating above their heads everywhere, <laughs> like that's you know to cater to that social crowd. Yeah. But uh, if they'd remove those icons, it would pretty much be a Skyrim game. If it was single player and remove the icons. Yeah, but everybody knows that social crowd's the kind of the kids that are like, "Hey, you're a girl character." Hey, yeah. So. I I give you dragon armor. We we <laughs> do girlfriend boyfriend. Okay, let's do it. Something tells me you played RuneScape, didn't you, Digi? Yeah. yeah that was just how it worked. Like, <laughs> you'd have female characters that are just like, I'll be your girlfriend if you give me this, and then you give her that because you're a young boy and you never see the item or her again. Oh. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like That's real life. Every, all of a right. sudden, you, you give her like a necklace, <laughs> and she uses like a Falador teleport, and she's just out of your life. Yep. You're know, sat there crying to sad make-out songs and eating ice cream and... <laughs> Welcome to how no. you're in the arms <laughs> of the angels. And that's how emo <laughs> boys are made. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> wow, where did this go? But, that, you know, people do that yeah. in every MMO in existence, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so plenty of it in WoW. Oh, I saw lots of it in Fiesta Online, which was like an anime pop graphic MMO. So you can imagine the armor was very revealing. Female character walks over, you'd just see like twenty guys walk over and be like, "Hey, baby!" And this. Oh like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I played a little bit of Terra with Jason because he said the combat was super good. It's and it's definitely better than walking around like the standard. Going, oh my god, I feel guilty just like looking at these characters. God, the Lolicon <laughs> girl race. God, oh, what the Which hell? Which one's that? Is that the little girl one? Yes. Like little little girl. That's. Why? Why would you? I don't get that. I did like, I did like the whole rolling aspect they added to MMO combat in Terra, but the rest of the game I wasn't wasn't that sold on. I actually think Elder Scrolls has the best combat I've played in an MMO. That's the thing is that I'm glad a lot of MMOs are finally getting away from the tab target and mash hockey's like a monkey with a calculator yeah. combat. But, yeah, yeah, calculator combat. That's a good way to put it. I never. Yeah, pretty much. I've heard that and calculator that's... combat exactly. But and the rest of it is just the same drivel again. It's the same mm -hmm. kill ten rats quest systems, and you know everything else is the same. So the combat may be better in a lot of these more modern games, but the rest of it's just too much of the same thing again. It, oh, and Elder uh, Elder Scrolls in general, I mean, just not a little bit, but yeah, they do have a lot of those fetch kill quests. Um, but I was listening to Jason play, and um, he was explaining how. They, they were dealing with some werewolf situation where this guy had been scratched and he was in danger of turning back and they were going to take him in. And he was like, I just want to say goodbye to my family before you take me. And you have a choice to either just, no, you're too dangerous or, yeah, sure, go ahead. And they said, no, you're too dangerous. And they took him away. Um, and I was like, I wonder if it would be really different if you let him go back and say goodbye to his family. So I looked it up on YouTube and you actually he, he goes back in the house and you hear like the screams of his family, and he like kills him, and you go in there and you have to fight a werewolf. Oh, wow! So, yeah. So I was nice. like, okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, and then that family's dead from then on in your instance of of that uh, village or whatever. So it's it's wow. different. Wow, that's kind of powerful. That's something you remember for years to come from a yeah. gaming experience. You know, you that's... don't get to reload the save in this game. You know, like that. That's kind of the appeal of putting those types of quests in there. 
That's uh, and kind they're of all awesome. voice acted too. So, uh, yeah, I thought I thought that was great. I I was listening to him while they were playing, and he he was like, "Should we let him?" And then and then his wife was like, "No, no, he might he might hurt his family." And they're like having this discussion back and forth before <laughs> they choose the answer. And I was like, "What are you playing?" <laughs> and they're, they're just like, "Elder Scrolls Online." I was like, "Damn, that's cool." That is. <laughs> That is, but the, those kind of instances are kind of, you know, there isn't too much of that in the game. From what I've heard from a I lot think, of people, it feels like yeah. a lot of the same from pre, you know, old MMOs. But the fact that there's a few th- moments in there like that is is kind of awesome. Yeah, that's that's, and now they're adding um, the ability to steal and get caught by guards and kill any NPC in the game. Uh, from the videos I saw, like at QuakeCon. So yeah, if you can't do neat. that, it's not an Elder Scrolls game, right? <laughs> so they're they're adding that, and it looks like it's pretty clear that they had the systems kind of being worked on when they launched the game. I mean, you can't just add a feature like that. No. Yeah, it's, like it's kind it of an interesting been. idea. Like somebody goes to hand in a quest, so you just like blow up the person they're about to talk to. Right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I, don't, a, I don't know. I don't know if it. it's uh, certain NPCs will be you knock them unconscious. Like, I imagine that's probably how it is. Yeah, yeah. I would being be, able to break your own quests would be brutal. Even if some minor quests could be broke that way, you know, some major ones need to be kept protected. Yeah, yeah, for sure. If it's if it's a side quest, I guess killing them. Uh, yeah, I don't know how that's gonna work. How would it work if I kill an NPC that you need for a quest? Like, well, maybe it might just like die in your instance only or something. I don't know. I'd imagine, but. Like you said, it's probably like Skyrim and Oblivion. Yeah. If it's quest important, they won't actually die. They'll just yeah, kneel over. Indoors is, uh, when you go indoors, I'm pretty sure you're in your own instance. Or your group can enter your instance or something like that. So killing NPCs indoors wouldn't have an effect on anyone else's game. Because they could still go in the house and mm-hmm. see their person. Which is a good solution for an MMO. But uh, I've the video they were, they were showing of QuakeCon, they were just shooting killing people outside like in town <laughs> and like I was I, I'm like okay none of those are quest giving NPCs so maybe that's how they're getting around it you'll go to like PvP based worlds there'll just be like barren cities everywhere there'll be no NPCs oh cause they get attacked by other yeah. uh, factions uh. and just kill all the <laughs> quest giving NPCs <laughs> <laughs> see that's God. that's you can't the theme park, man. I I don't know. I like the sandbox MMOs. They really don't do that do that anymore. Because like, players are the ones selling equipment and items, not NPCs. And so you don't have to. You you can allow a towns to be sacked, and it just takes care of itself. Yeah. And I kind of reminds, kind of reminds me of Red Dead Redemption's online, and in, uh, in a way, I remember me and my me and a group of about three other friends would all just. Get or get in uh, one city and basically start killing all the NPCs and hold down the fort while the other players tried to kill us for a bounty. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah that's that's awesome! Do that for hours and hours. So fun. <laughs> that's the only thing to do in that mode, though. Unfortunately, yeah, really, unfortunately. Well, yeah, like there's no trains to hijack. There was no. I think you had to buy a buy a downloadable content to get get the poker unlocked. Mm-hmm. So you can play poker yeah. with your. All that stuff that you could do in single player that would have been so... I mean, I bought that game just for the co-op. Yeah. And then I played co-op and I was like, this is like nothing. It's not much. All you do is hide <laughs> around and shoot innocent See, people. I, I do that with a lot of Rockstar games. Like, I'll play through the stories of all the Grand Theft Autos just to say that I have. And then I spend like 50, 60 hours just straight online. <laughs> And then I, any time I go back to the game, it's not, oh, I want to play through the story. It's, oh, let's go online and, you know, jump in a helicopter and blow people up. Like, Rockstar are really good at making online games, but the stuff that you can do in it becomes very dry very quickly. Uh, yeah, if they had the train hijacking, bounties, uh, hunting animals and all that, they just changed the whole, the game just was totally different online. Like, you earn money for every kill and then you go buy unlocks and... I was well, like, they just, ah, they just stripped it's... everything, really, didn't they? they just... Yeah, you took everything out of the game that was cool <laughs> yeah. and, just, and just like made it a money earning thing. I don't know. It was it was it was disappointing. I sold it back. Although I do remember when they first released the game, so many glitches come out. Like certain things you could do would just like give you ridiculous gold and experience because it was broken. 
And there was this one night my friend said about one. I went around his house, set up my PlayStation, his PlayStation, and I sat there all night just pressing X. And it just looped through, and it was just giving us levels upon levels because all we wanted was the zebra donkey. What? <laughs> and we finally unlocked it, and then they reset all the servers because they knew about all these glitches, and we were just like, <laughs> oh. that sucks. <laughs> and then you quit playing so that at the that last point. Time I, yeah, that was the last time I ever played Red Dead Online. <laughs> <laughs> So again, did you broke it? Yeah, I was about to say uh, he broke that game too. Apparently, devs really must hate you. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah, when you guys said you were bringing him onto this podcast, I was like, oh, I gotta find an excuse not to come on. Digi's gonna be there. He's probably gonna break the call. <laughs> well, he broke the stream when we tried to start it up. That's for certain. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. It was entirely Digi's fault. <laughs> yep. It wasn't me clicking the wrong button whatsoever. <laughs> well, it was his presence that intimidated you. Yeah. Yeah. Jedi mind tricks. Exactly. All right, wow. Let's uh, actually like get on topic a little bit here and get through yeah, our segment. We're 30 minutes here. in, and we still haven't even introduced Digi. <laughs> yes, we did. Oh. Yeah, no, I, I don't we think did. we did. Did we? Oh, whoops. Never mind. Yeah. Remember <laughs> the whole accent conversation? <laughs> oh, yeah, fair enough. We didn't do a gift for the week yet, though. Do you have one? No. Uh, uh, no. That's that's your one job, Ginger Dragon. That I never uh -oh. told you was actually your job, but you've been doing Look, it. Look, all right, I'll dig through. I might have I might have something I haven't done yet. I don't know. <laughs> and <laughs> let's move on to what we've been playing this week. Let's start with Digi. What have you been playing this week? Um, really bad question to ask me. I've been playing a AAA game, Watch Dogs. Now that my computer has been upgraded, although I did check out So Many Me, which is a release by X10 Interactive Studios. So it's many a me. puzzle platformer. Ah, doesn't sound too familiar um, though. It's really, really good. It, the gameplay of it is really solid. Like the controls don't feel clunky. It was done very well, and the whole idea of it is you're this little, this little green blob, and you have to go and save the world. But he doesn't care about that. He just dives headfirst into the action. He's just like, no, don't care about your story. Jumping in has no idea what's going on and you pick up these things called arcs which create other me's and they're all linked to you so you jump they jump they have a really cute interaction between each of them as well like um they all have their own personality so they'll get into conversations and arguments and everything else while you're playing the game and it's great you use um different tactics to get yourselves around the puzzles so you can turn your your other me's into stone blocks so you can climb. Uh, you pick up other power-ups later in the game where you can become jelly to bounce and lots of other things like that. Huh. You can use all of your me's at once to use a combination to create like suits that give you more strength. It was a really, really nicely done game and the soundtrack is done by the same people that did Dust and Elysian Tales soundtrack. Nice. So the soundtrack to the game is is absolutely beautiful. Um, I actually got suggested it by a friend of mine and the developers and artists came into my chat while I was playing it and <laughs> were there available to talk to people and I didn't break their game so that was a good uh, that was good oh that's nice <laughs> you didn't break something <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'll have to look into that that sounds pretty interesting what did you say it was called again? so many me it is available on Windows, Mac, Linux and the Ouya all right. So, you know, the two people in the world that own one of those. Right. <laughs> there you go, Tiny <laughs> Pixels. <laughs> yeah, Tiny Pixels. All right, what have you been playing, Ginger Dragon? Um, me? Uh, let's see. I've been playing some Minimum, which is a third-person online shooter. It's it's fun. I like it. Minimum. You basically, it's sort, of, it's sort of, I guess, in a way, MOBA-styled, because you've got the... Uh, well, you've just got boring team deathmatch, but no one actually likes that mode because it's boring and it's team deathmatch. But then there's Titan mode where you basically have these two giant robots on both teams that go towards the center of the arena and start duking it out. And after both of them have been destroyed by either each other or the players, you then have to go into a creep farming phase where a bunch of creeps spawn. And whichever team kills the most creeps, their Titan becomes more powerful. It gets more HP is I'm pretty sure all it does, which gives it the extra survivability to survive the, t you know, the two Titans beating each other in the center of the arena. And what you have to do is try and get your Titan into the enemy's base. Uh, there are defensive walls to try and stop it, but yeah, it's tons of fun. That sounds That's pretty some good gunplay damn too. awesome. 
Oh, yeah. It has a feature that scares me, though, because it's got crafting in it. You know, you craft weapons, you make it. You can upgrade the weapons. Not, like, straight upgrade, though. But, like, you can upgrade them to more tune them to your abilities. Like, if you want a more close-range sniper or something like that, something stupid like that, you can do it. But then there's also something that scares me called the maximization chance. Every single time you craft a weapon, there's a chance the weapon will just straight up be an upgrade, which in a competitive game is kind of bad for that to be there. <laughs> is this some free-to-play thing? No, it's not free-to-play. Oh, okay. You, uh, <laughs> you do pay $20 for the game. You can't buy the crafting materials, but you have to farm them from the game. It doesn't take too long, but it still takes time to get the materials, unfortunately. I'm fine with progression systems as long as it's yeah. not, like, pay-to-win stuff. Yeah, and you can still just unlock the weapons, like, and the starting weapons are just fine as well. Like, I've gotten plenty of kills with the bullet hell, which is the absolute basic, most basic weapon in the game. But yeah, the, uh, what was, it, what was I gonna say, though? We're gonna check this out. Is it on Steam? Yeah, it's on Steam. Hmm. That sounds really interesting. It's early access, still, ah. but yeah. Yeah, I got a key for that, so I've been playing that sh Tried to get the video out, but then the file corrupted. <laughs> so Ooh, fuck me, right? Ouch. Gotta go re-record it. <laughs> There's nothing worse as a YouTuber than that happening. Yeah. It's like, I'm going through the video, you put, you put it into the editing software, and then you realize that the audio is a little bit longer than the video, and it's just like, fuck. I hope I didn't lose anything important, and I did. <laughs> I lost the entire creep farming phase. Looking at the YouTube versus streaming thing, wouldn't that be similar to what Fedora did at the beginning of the stream? Yeah, but I like accidentally stopping the stream. Yeah, Although, see, it's much easier. You don't to really accidentally that, corrupt though. a file, though. The yeah. file just kind of corrupts due to issues. <clears throat> when like, I get a corrupted file, it usually hard drive. just completely makes my editor shit self inside out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's like, oh, not just simple audio is off. My editor just like dies completely. Whenever I have a corrupted file. I haven't had that happen in a long time, thank God. It's only happened to me like twice, but... Ugh, yeah. Corrupted yeah, files are the worst. Minimum is a very fun <laughs> game. I can easily recommend it. That being said, though, it's weird, because it's got that whole 5v5 heavily team-focused team setup, but you can't get into a pre-lobby with your friends. Which is weird. Like, as far as I'm aware, you can't, like, you and your friends can't sort of go into a 5v5 and then search for a match. Well, it is, it is early access, so... Yeah, exactly. It's early access, so hopefully they're working on that. Uh, what have you been playing, Left? Uh, well, all right, yeah. Oh, sorry, you done? You done? Not done? Well, I mean, I've, all, I've also been playing some Ace Combat Assault Horizon, since that's got a free-to-play weekend right now, or a free I, weekend. I'm actually really surprised that you haven't said Dark Souls 2 or Earth Defense Force this week. Well, I did, but I thought that was just self-explanatory. Yeah, it was getting a little redundant, wasn't it? It's like, well, I played Earth Defense Force, Mark Hardy, and Dark Souls. Yeah, okay, yeah, just like every other bloody week, Ginger. You know, I figured I'd try and spice it up a bit. <laughs> just ignore the stuff that you guys know I'm playing anyways. You did spice it up because it's a game I've not heard of, and now I'm really interested in, so. Yeah, there you go. There. I played some minimum. All right, People okay. still play Dark Souls? Two. Yeah, Dark Souls 2. Well, to be fair, the DLC did just release. Oh, right. <laughs> also, I uh, found a GIF. <laughs> oh, what's Call of Duty Payday and Grand Theft Auto? Wait for it. I like that. That's good to see. The, at the end, I don't know what you call what he's even doing, but that at the end is great. Oh, uh, yeah. It was nice. I, I think that's my new victory face. <laughs> <laughs> and for anyone that isn't too familiar with Hitbox, that's one of the awesome features of Hitbox embedding GIFs and videos and, st and images into chat. Only that mods awesome. and, and admins can do it for obvious reasons. Yeah. Oh yeah, that'd be uh, obvious crazy. reasons that they didn't quite realize when they hosted a major <laughs> esport event, and yeah, that happened. Oh, and forgot to turn that on or something. Like it was no, like, no, right like it they... wasn't even a feature yet when that happened. Like it was just anybody could embed a GIF no matter what. Oh wow. They left. You should see they... some of the stuff that I did while well, I'm a moderator on Hitbox channels. There are just gifts everywhere. Stitch, Sully, all the Disney characters, just random monkeys. Parlock streams, I'm assuming. Yeah, I did 
I did a couple in Parlocks. Don't know mm -hmm. if they're still there. Did some in Gen S nineties. Oh, you just go drop sure them in, in the you drop them in the chat when the stream no streams going. <laughs> yeah, like that I have brilliant. ones to say hello. And like I have ones to say hello, so there's like Stitch waving, and I just go into chats and put Digi hello, and it comes up. <laughs> Ugh, speaking through gifts. Ugh. <sighs> Damn kids these days. But I'm, yeah, not, I'm not a big feature. fan of that, but whatever. <laughs> that's all my Twitter feed is most of the time. Yeah, that's, that's, that's this year's flavor for the internet. You know, eventually, we're just going to reach a point where we don't use words anymore. We just use animated GIFs to communicate. Sometimes it's clever and, and funny, and then it just gets drawn out. Yeah, it just it kind of gets drawn out is my main problem. Like, I mean, there's, that's appropriate times for some gifts. Like, the It's Happening one with Ron Paul. That one's, that one's got some good times yeah. that you could do with it. Exactly, but trying to have whole, entire conversations with gifts, that's, I don't know. That's a thing. <laughs> yeah. oh. It makes me happy that I only really use Twitter on my phone, so all I see is links. So <laughs> Lucky <laughs> you. I'm scared for the day that I ever open TweetDeck again. <laughs> I use Falcon on my phone, which you know loads things in line like TweetDeck does, which is generally a good thing. But has it always been? There's been a couple of Slothborn tweets that I wish it didn't load inline images and things. <laughs> we won't go into that one though. I was, I'm like, how about work, man? What are you doing? <laughs> you get me fired with that shit. <laughs> it's it's Slothborn. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, Leth, what have you been playing? <laughs> Just get off that um, topic. I'm not going to describe the images. Yeah, that's that's fine. Um, Orc porn. I've been playing, uh, other than my own projects, through testing. Rick Which Crypto is a the lot. Dancer because I'm in the Necrothon. Nice. That is um, a, a uh, brilliant event put on by those guys. Oh, yeah. It's a huge charity event. They got a ton of streamers participating and um, submitting high scores and trying to beat out the other teams to get there, money okay. donated to their charity. Okay, so you're basically fighting for a donation pot to your choice of charities. What's what's happening? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. That's awesome. Um, and uh, I posted a really good daily challenge on my first attempt back on Monday, which is great because I knew I was gonna be busy with with work this week, so I haven't been on as much. Uh, but uh, I still have to complete the game and submit a speedrun score for my team. Um, so I've been busy with that, and that game is incredible. And uh, like I said earlier, I'll be on a panel with Ryan from uh, Crypto Necrodancer at PAX, so I'm looking forward to seeing him again and uh, debating uh, the merits of, uh, of procedural generation in indie games, I guess. That's one thing um, we did forget to mention. Is Leth is also a streamer. This, he does everything. <laughs> <laughs> I do a lot, yeah. I, I uh, very active. I just a couple nights ago, I had this really nice stream where I didn't get anything, any work done, but I shared some of my own music with people who were watching, and they were all blown away and really complimentary. And it was it like made my whole week. Uh, they were like, "What the hell? What can't you do?" I'm like, "Oh, come on!" Like, I've sh I've I've uh, basically got you guys in the space where I could show you everything I do well and ignore everything I don't. So, you know, now, Leth is a disgustingly like... talented man. <laughs> That's why there's people like me that have no talent. He sucks it all up. <laughs> you know, yeah, I, I, I like... I, I waited in the uh, talent kiddie pool a little too long when I was younger, I guess, and mm -hmm. soaked up all the water, all the good juice. Um, one thing I did want to mention that I played this week... Oh, I, pl I played it on... Saturday, does that count? Like, can I? Yeah, that works. Works for last me. Saturday. Um, <laughs> it's it's different for me. I played a board game called Eldritch Horror, and it's a co-op board game, and it's the best board game I've ever played. I just or I ordered it a few nights ago, paid for overnight <laughs> shipping, so I'd get it before the weekend because I'm interested in trying to broadcast it. And uh, it said it would be delivered yesterday, and then it didn't show up. So I'm I'm kind of raged out. A little bit because I think they won't deliver it Damn until it, UPS. Monday now since it's Saturday. Right? Yeah, I, I hate crap. that. Like, that is annoying. That's the worst. It's time. like it'll be delivered. It's on time. It'll be there at eight o'clock on Friday. I'm like, sweet. Didn't show up, and 
Actually, now I really, really want to go out front. And <laughs> I forgot to go check to see if it was here. Oh, God. Is it um, UPS or USPS delivering it? It's uh, on track. Oh, wait. I'm assuming you live in America. You don't live in America, do you? I No, I do. Oh. Uh, it's not hell? UPS, which uh, which is kind of surprising. What but the hell is on track? I, I don't know. Never heard of it. Obviously, <laughs> they suck. Service, service. This is why it's not being delivered. It's not a real company. Right, yeah. It's not, <laughs> not UPS. Um. <laughs> UPS delivers on Saturdays, right? Yes. Just not USP. It's not USPS. It's on track, whatever that is. So maybe it'll show up today. But um, it's a it's a Cthulhu 1930s uh, end of the world game, and you play one to eight players cooperatively to try and prevent the end of the world. Nice. And prevent like an ancient one from coming back and and destroying that's, existence for that's humanity. That whole, oh God, who's the author of that stuff? Lovecraft. Lovecraft is Lovecraft. Yeah, type it totally thing, is. Huh? It's Aww. actually based on his writings. It's all the authentic characters from his novels and things like that. Nice. So anything Lovecraftian is awesome. Oh, um, it's incredible. It's like you pick up a card and you read a little tidbit, the story element of the card. It tells you what's going on, and it's all so creepy and disturbing. Like, um, uh, it's for example, a friend of mine. We were playing, and he. Uh, there's an opportunity for you on your turn to like try and buy items and you roll dice to see how much you can spend or if the item's available in the city that you're at. And if he didn't roll well enough, he only got like one point and he needed three. So he took a debt from the bank. And that gives you two more like coins or whatever. And he bought a, a nice gun or something. And, t and then I have to give him a debt condition. Like a condi you can go paranoid or have amnesia or whatever his conditions, all these crazy things. Um, I gave him a debt. And then later on in the game, this reckoning happens, and it makes you all your conditions. You have to roll to see if they happen. And he rolls a one, and he's like, oh, God, the debt. You know, someone's going to come and take my items or something like that, right? That's what happened to me earlier in the game. Like, someone <laughs> took, came back and took my item back that I got from the bank. I was like, oh, I just got that, you know? like. Um, so he, he rolls this debt thing, and then it's like you hear the walk you hear the footsteps growing near of the something something and I was like what and then he's like it find you 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 try to run away but it eventually finds you you are devoured game over and it's Aww. like what oh okay you're dead <laughs> like <laughs> like that this, was so creepy like <laughs> this sounds really familiar I? I think there's a digital version of this game no it, it's new but there's oh. arkham horror hmm. maybe that has a digital version I, it was something. It was very a Lovecraftian board game made into a digital one. I saw a video of that. Oh, uh, so good. That Total Biscuit did of it, and it sounds kind of familiar oh. and kind of similar, but maybe not the same game. You know, like well, you know, a lot of board I say games. New, I mean, like within the last year. Yeah. So maybe he did do a video on it. Well, it might just uh, sound familiar because it's Lovecraftian, and and a lot of board games share some similar mechanics. So. So it was so cool. Like, oh no, it wasn't a debt. It was a dark pact. He took a dark pact to get something, which is like a, a man in a suit comes and has you sign something in blood or whatever. And it's like well, really creepy. And then you flip the card and then he got devoured. Like that he had to pay his, his dark pact. What was the name but of the board game? Eldritch Horror. I'll, uh, I'll put the uh, name in here. Yeah, it sounds... Sounds like um, a, so, yeah, a far more it. complicated and interesting version of Jumanji. Dude, it's it's incredible. And uh, each turn you pick up a uh, what's called a Mythos card, and it tells you like some bad shit happening in the world. And then like all this stuff that like portals open up and monsters start pouring out in San Francisco, and you gotta go close the gates, and otherwise the end of the world gets nearer as long as gates are open and shit. Like I mean, it's. You're That's on like cool. a timer. We just we lost. We played for twelve straight hours and lost over and over and over and over again. <laughs> it was still <laughs> freaking fun. Dude. Like we just kept dying. Um, well, another interesting thing about the game, and I'll let I'll let I'll let uh, Fedora talk about what he played this week. Um, if you die, you, there's two ways you can die. You can either go insane or you can physically be killed. And you leave your character on the board where he was, and you put either the heart or the mind symbol on it, depending on which one you. have that ultimately was your demise and you start a new character because there's a bunch of characters so you don't just like it's not like it's one player after that you still continue playing co-op you just have to start over with a new person and you can go encounter your old person and take their stuff if they died but if they went insane you like flip their you flip their card and you encounter them like a creature 
or a, like another story thing and you'll find them like doing crazy shit and you gotta like try and convince them to give you their stuff back or, or fight them or whatever because they went nuts so nice. it's it's pretty like I don't know what the term is for that but being able to encounter your old self in a crazy format is really disturbing and it's awesome it's amazing that's I've always wanted to get into the cool tabletop games because there's so many great ones out there, but I live in a small town and don't know of anyone that's into that kind of thing. So, Yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to get to play it even though I ordered it because I don't know anybody here. In my, I'm in a really small town too. Oh. Well, take it to PAX and after, you know, after the show for one of the nights, I'm sure you could gather a bunch of nerds to play it. Yeah, I'm considering it. Do uh, you think there will be any nerds at PAX? A few. Nah. I'm sure it'll all be jocks. Oh, okay. <laughs> it'll be all <laughs> jocks. There'll be a few around in the corner somewhere, maybe. But uh, that that does remind me, though. I I can't. I don't think I was able to actually show up to the podcast because of this event. But uh, I was at my brother's. I think it was like his 24th birthday. So naturally, there was a bunch of people, and they were all really drunk. And I got to play the physical version of Cards Against Humanity with them. Mm. Uh, that that game's great. was amazing. <laughs> I've never played. Yeah, I played that uh, when I went to London, and it was the British version, and it just wasn't funny at all. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, shots fired. <laughs> I'm sorry that you Americans can't understand all better humor. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> actually, I was the only one not laughing at anything, or I, or I thought it was funny. How did it go? I thought stuff was funny. But nobody else in the room thought it was funny. Like, the potty, they were, they were just like, oh, the shock humor and potty humor or whatever. I was like, that's what this game's about. Yeah. Get over it. Like, it's a game for on. terrible people. If you aren't a yeah. terrible person, why are you playing it? They were all like, oh, that's stupid. You just, you know, I was like, what? So you're, you're saying that the British people are all too uptight and proper to, uh, to enjoy it? Uh, there, were only, there were only two British uh, people playing. Uh, Ty and and Samurai Ferret were there, and they and then the rest were Americans. Oh, you have no so, sense of humor. Come on, Cars Against Humanity yeah, I guess is I, awesome. I, you know, take from that what you will. I, we were playing the British version of Cards Against Humanity, and nobody thought it was funny except me. So. I didn't know there was a British version of Cards Against Humanity. That's awesome. <laughs> no, did I? I can say there isn't. I'm just making that up. <laughs> oh, okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> that might be what's happening here. I was like, how how is it different? I mean, it, I mean, like, it's, sure how are the dick jokes any different in Brit in, over in Britain? I'm confused by that. Well, I mean, we say wanker a lot, and you guys never seem to know what that means. Yeah, yeah. I do. Is tosser a uh, word? Because I have a, a character in in, or is that um, Australian? Wanker oh, is a British term. What about tosser? British tosser. Term. I think that's yeah. No, is that Australian? We have like potion tossers in our game, and like there's people that always like snicker when we talk about them. Like, <laughs> kill the banned fire tosser, and they're like, "Dude, you can't put that in your game. It'll be banned in Australia or something." Well, like, be banned all your shit gets banned anyway. Like, <laughs> yeah, right. It's not hard to get banned in Australia. <laughs> we have like little pixelized blood in our game. I'm sure we'll be banned. <laughs> Gotta censor that state. out for the Australian version. Yeah. Just turn the blood green so it doesn't look like real blood. So you'll be alright. Yeah. That's actually been done. What was that? Yeah. Car Carmageddon, I think? Oh, really? Yeah, like an old school game that was it banned somewhere because it was bloody and you just run people over. And so they changed the blood to green and made it like a zombie thing. So that was fine. Oh. <laughs> Mortal Kombat made everybody sweat. I remember that. That was huge back in the day. <laughs> Like yeah. a huge controversy. And now if you look like Mortal Kombat back then compared to Mortal Kombat now, it was so tame. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I just remember seeing that game for the first time and just being like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what is... Really? This is amazing. Yeah, it was... It, it, it took over everything. Street Fighter was like, no, no, let's play Mortal Kombat. I mean, Street Fighter, you always had that one friend that was this Blanca who just sit there doing the electric over and over until the game just got boring. <laughs> Fear the button mashers. Yeah, worst worst uh, power move in a game, like 
just encourages you to mash the same button. <laughs> well, actually, I think again. the problem is it's the best power move in a game, which then makes it the worst. Oh yeah. Which yeah. No, I wasn't that. that no, my cousin was that guy that always did that, so we used to get into scraps a lot. <laughs> you could hurt him though. I'm hitting sure. him with a controller. <laughs> I'm sure, you could use the the leg sweep, <laughs> knock him out of that. You could. There was ways to get him out of it, but then like yeah. they had to sit there and do it again and again and again. And eventually, you're just like, I'm bored of just. Like... Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then they're like, think they're all oh, tough shit and awesome because of, they can span the same move over and over again. <laughs> He does the same thing now in like Super Smash Brawl, but then he realizes he gets like absolutely wrecked for it because it's not that easy to do anymore. Yeah, no, it's... <laughs> you Super Smash Bros. It. You actually have mobility, so it's harder to do that. Well, you just pick up an item and just knock him off the edge. <laughs> that That's do. what I do. <laughs> that works too. <laughs> just throw like a Pokeball at his head. He just goes flying. <laughs> All right, let, uh, let's go ahead and finish this segment up. Uh, or were you done left, or was there anything else you've been playing? No, that, that's it. Also, if you're looking for people during PAX to, after after the show to play Elder Chores, I'm so down for that. Dude, I, I'm really considering taking it with me. I'm, I, it just depends on how much extra luggage I'll have to take. You know, like, if I, have to, if I can get away with only doing a carry-on bag, not taking it, then I might not, you know, because I don't want to carry more than one bag if I don't have to. Do it. Just leave no, something else, like, clean underwear just out. Just leave some... Yeah, you don't yeah. need that. I, 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 <laughs> you don't need that. You don't need that. You just turn it around the other way and then turn it side out and do the same thing again. You'll be fine. Do four yeah. days. I don't know if I'll, I, if I'll need pants. No, uh, you don't need pants at PAX. Why would you need pants at PAX? I don't, yeah, so maybe it'd still be room. Just <laughs> walk in without pants and just say you're cosplaying. Just do Co- yeah, cos- cosplay. <laughs> I'm cosplaying E Honda. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you my thousand hand slap. And so if left is in... Cosplaying, I'm cosplaying the four screen twins from my house last. <laughs> oh, Jesus. God. <laughs> Wait, the what? Uh, the two Jesus. naked guys from out last. All right. Oh, I'm those guys. Okay. I know them, yeah. Yeah, the four skin oh. twins. <laughs> nice. And if left, if left isn't at that, uh, that panel that he's talking about, we all know why at this point. Yeah, it's because I was carried around. <laughs> I was taken out by security. Yep. You know, j- just become a dragon, then you can legally be naked because you technically. I just wanted asshole. to play board games with people. <laughs> naked. That's what I'll be yelling as Without they pants. carry me out in my underwear. Yeah. So why are you naked and wanting to play board games with people? I'm not crazy. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and let me know when that happens. I'll be there with Shit. my phone camera because I'll make a great YouTube video. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Alright, uh, video games, right, yes, yeah, video games. What have I been playing? I've been playing a lot of Abyss Odyssey, which is something I still need to get around to make a video of, because I suck. That game is fantastic. I really liked um, Ascendant, and it was probably one of my favorite roguelite, as people want, tend to call them, because they rage for calling roguelikes, of the <laughs> year, until Abyss Odyssey. The game is so good. Its combat is more akin to a fighter than it is to... You know, a, any roguelite mm. game you've seen before. It's very in-depth combat, which is what I liked about Ascendant, but Abyss Odyssey is even more so. It is great, great art style. It is just wonderful. That it's game. called Procedural Death Labyrinth. Roguelite is such a stupid word. <laughs> procedural it's Death not Labyrinth a, it's is a roguelite. Worse, you mean a roguelike? No, I mean a roguelite. That's what he said, a roguelike. No, I said roguelite. Uh, roguelite. It's like, fuck it, it's a Procedural Death Labyrinth. I don't like the procedural death labyrinth term either because there's a lot of things that it doesn't fit either very well either. There's a lot of these roguelike-ish games that aren't very labyrinthian. Like Tower of Guns. It's not a labyrinth whatsoever. It's a straight line of rules. Well, it doesn't have to be but... labyrinthian. It's just saying like the levels are randomly generated. There yeah. you go. whoop de doo <laughs> eh, it's not a term I've been a fan of either. I know a lot of people are going to try to push for that to become the new term. And then the people that rage about roguelike... Okay... It's it's not a great term, it's just no one ever came up with anything better. It's like back when FPSs were Doom clones, and before the <laughs> the term co- was coined for FPS. Just nothing better was ever coined that stuck for a roguelike yet. So, mm. uh, well, now that people are actually settling for MOBA, yeah, I, I don't think we'll ever see, ever see any good genre names come up again. <laughs> I, uh, What's MOBA stand for? 
multiplayer online battle arena. Oh. So, you know, Call of Duty is a MOBA. Uh, really, anything yeah. in an arena with multiplayer is a MOBA. <laughs> it's stupid. Uh, yeah, genre names are hard to come up with. I'll they're, just they're, re- they're really bad nowadays. It's unfortunate. But that Anyways. was Riot that started that whole MOBA thing because they didn't want to be called a Dota clone. <laughs> <laughs> That's about all I've been playing is Abyss Odyssey. It's great. It's like 15 bucks on Steam. I highly recommend it. I could go on for it for an hour, but we're already a little behind on stuff, so I won't. It's just wonderful. Um, Toll Biscuit did a good video on it. You should go check out. I will have a video. I've playing it, and I really enjoyed the art style. <laughs> the fighting in it as well seemed very solid, so it seems like a really good game. It Let's is. pick it up. I'll be putting a video out about it sometime in the nearish future. Maybe tonight. I need to get it out tonight. I need to make more videos, but my new job, and I fail at doing it, and ample excuses and shit. But uh, let's go ahead and move on to, we're going to skip gaming news, just because we've been chatting for a while, and I really didn't have anything very interesting in the gaming news segment this week. <coughs> Sorry. Besides Comic-Con, but I haven't been paying attention to what's been coming out of Comic-Con, and... Clearly, none of us are at Comic-Con, so not much to talk about for that regards, I'm sure. Free Pixel stuff. Ha- oh, hey. Oh, halfway. halfway. That's good. I've played it very little bit so far. It's pretty damn good, though. And I need to video <laughs> that out soon, too. I need I to have, play that. Uh, I have a That's bunch of point. keys for Halfway, so I'm trying to give it out to uh, the streamer type streamers folks. that I know. And I uh, forgot about present company oh wait no digi i got one too i think actually. yeah you did yep. and uh, we had the whole discussion on twitter about you know how you never spam not, you're not being my th- yeah i was kind of like if you're uh i was like all my twitter or uh twitch friends you're about to get spammed and uh and then he was like am i i'm not on your skype <laughs> or i was about to get spammed on skype and, I was, like, and then i sent like another message like if you're one of my twitch friends and you're not on my skype what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> that he, he sent me a message. Because Left is against... is like, Go ahead. Go ahead. Left adds me on Skype. Okay, his Skype name is Matthew Left Griffin. So you know who it is. And he, in capital letters, writes Left. <laughs> because I would know who he is. That's the message. <laughs> yeah, not, not, I'd like to add you on Skype. It's just Left. In <laughs> All I could think in my head is like, you know, when you hear like giant ogres in games and stuff, like just raw one word. I was just like, (laughs) (laughs) but one thing I thought about when he, I saw that tweet of his, I'm like, oh, so he's prejudiced against YouTubers and hitbox streamers. Hmm. I am. (laughs) That's just the. It's just what the word Twitch is synonymous with streaming in general at this point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, the majority of my my. uh, Streaming friends are from Twitch. Uh, one of them moved over to Hitbox in uh, uh, BroBQ. So he's the only, uh, other than you now, uh, like the only person I'm following on Hitbox. I actually saw him doing a Twitch stream last night, I thought. Like, I saw someone retweet it. BroBQ? Yeah. Hmm. Was he doing it for Necrothon, maybe? May- oh, that might have been it. Yeah. No. No, he's not in that. Oh. Uh, he's hmm. on Hitbox exclusively, I'm pretty sure. Hitbox is pretty wonderful. Tiny pixels, so. I'm going to send you a key. Giving all, out all the awesome games. But seriously, if you yeah. want to know about any awesome indie games, and Left now, knows all of them. One day ago, we're returning to the world of Fallout New Vegas for a few hours over on Twitch. Hmm. Huh. That's interesting. Um, I, I know it's tough to you know move over and bring your entire audience, so maybe he's easing the change in? I don't know. Well, I thought he was on Hitbox for a while, though, like at mm. least a month or something like that. He's been on for a few months. Uh, it's interesting, man. I, I don't know. I like Hitbox a lot. <laughs> I don't have anything against Steam, but I, I, you know, I prefer Hitbox for the the uh, much, much lower delay. Oh, of, of course you do. I mean, stream, Steam doesn't stream. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> means Twitch. Sure. <laughs> you said Steam. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I can't words today. I can't do anything today. I can't time zone. For some reason, I told the guests... Like yesterday, that was 5 p.m. PDT when it's EDT. I don't even know where I, why I started saying PDT, where that even came from. I messed up the link in my first tweet about the podcast and did hitbox.com.tv. Mm. I'm just 
jacked up these last two days. I yeah, don't... man, you're on a tear, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> I'm losing my you bloody mind. You said PDT, mind. so I was like, oh, yeah, Pacific Daylight Time, sure, no problem. And then you, you meant to say ES, EDT, EST, I don't know. I was I, like, I oh, want to say what? EST originally, but then ESD. they're like, oh, that's different. It's not the, the same time compared to my time because of Daylight Savings Time now. I don't know. Nah, Fuck you, time zones. Fuck you. <laughs> when I like worked out the time, I was like, oh, it'd be one o'clock in the morning to me. And then like you said, thirty-five minutes. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was still in bed. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> it's like, uh, I gotta get up. I made left get out of bed at one thirty p.m. I'm such a horrible person. I know, man. How could uh, you do that? The hard life. I was up late watching, uh, watching Pip. Sorry, no, actually, <laughs> I was watching Eddie Ruckus. But I've I have been up late and and caught her cast occasionally. I, I was up to like 4 a.m., so I can't say anything. I do that all the time, too. Mm. Yeah, I'm always up until like 4. <laughs> it's the gamers that we do that, whether we're making yeah. them or just playing them. It's... Oh, crap. Tiny Pixels. Huh? She wants my Skype. Uh-oh. Oh, I'll have to get I that. just gave you hers. <laughs> what? You just wrote Tiny Pixels? <laughs> oh, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> Well done. I'm, I would guess that's her, her uh, Skype. Yes, I wouldn't have guessed that. I was just like, oh, he's just sending me her, her thing, to send her the key. Like, look at mine. Mine's just did you soon? It's like, the right thing all over again. All right, hold on. I'm gonna give her all the all caps. All right. Yes, you gotta do that. It's your trademark now. Okay. Yeah, I I just did that for Digi, and then he he made such a thing out of it. I was like, I'm just gonna do that from now on. <laughs> <laughs> just to make sure you know who this is. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, that's all I've been playing was uh, Abyss Odyssey. Let's go ahead and uh, start playing a game. Let's go ahead and start firing up some Risk of Rain. Yeah. All right. All right. How much time we have? Like 40 minutes, 45 minutes here. Yep. Yeah. Might run a little over if we've done that before. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're only playing with the developer of a game. It's, I'm it's... talented, but I'm a dumbass too. Like that's, you know, that's I mess things up all the time. Hunt down my controller here. There we go. Someone just asked me, and now I'm scared. Oh, added. <laughs> Do you have the server up right now? Yeah. Okay. I put the. Uh, the uh, IP and port. Yep. Make sure I... you change your your character name too, or whatever before it, you join. Yeah, it's already changed from previous plays. Nice. But um, <clears throat> okay, screen share until after I get this entered here. <laughs> yeah, I had uh, over on Sussy stream had two people show Sussy's IP on stream, so that was that was a thing. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, Solon and Pinsman, I think. <laughs> oh, come on, people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you even go all fancy and change your port, huh? Uh, yeah, I did. No, oh, actually, my player name's not changed for when I'm joining somebody. Oh. There we go. Oh, I still haven't unlocked Acrid on my new computer. Whoops. Used to have everyone unlocked on my old uh, computer, but when I moved to the new one, it didn't cloud save, so I had to re unlock everything. All right, now I can go ahead and switch over to the game screen here. Wait, it doesn't show it in the bottom corner anymore, does it? The IP? No. I don't see it. No, it, it, it doesn't. Sh wait. Bottom right corner, that's your, your frame rate. Or bottom left corner, I mean. Oh, only if the host has it visible. Oh wait, crap! I gotta like re-enable my gamepad here. Just a second. Uh, how do I get out of this? Oh right, gamepad. Uh. Controls. Gamepad support. Activate gamepad activated. Yes. Oh, I forget the gamepad doesn't actually work in the menu, so maybe I already had it set up right. <laughs> in character select, Smart. you can use gamepad. Okay. Now I can yeah. go ahead and go to the Risk of Rains oh, game God, that I. Items. What? Use items have a random effect. 
Oh boy. Oh yeah, I haven't played since the artifacts came in the play actually. Nor have I, so this is going to be interesting. I'm rusty. All right, um, well, this should be interesting. <laughs> it looks like I'm in here by myself. Is anyone else in the lobby? Uh, I'm here. So is Digi. It says. Okay, now I'm seeing other people. Let's, uh... Who do I want? I don't remember who's who here. Huntress, there we go. <laughs> what a scrub. I like the Huntress. The, and the engineer is good, too. I, I'm tempted so to go actually for sniper, that but sniper not. guy. Oh my god, he's terrible. <laughs> Why would you do Are that? Are you kidding me? Sniper is amazing. So Sniper's sweet. right here. Besides, I'm, I'm not playing, playing Sniper. This is mercenary. Uh, I'm on. <laughs> uh, I haven't actually. Yeah, I play Sniper sometimes. It's nice because he can actually kill things. I actually have two characters I haven't unlocked yet. Oh god, what are so you guys are all experienced? Oh, sort of. <laughs> I beat it a couple. We've times. played it a lot, but that was a while ago. <laughs> oh my god, are you going to high difficulty? Are you insane? <laughs> yeah, yes. we're on monsoon and enemies explode and destroy you on death. Oh god, so. you're a oh, sick boy. twisted man. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, I'm the mercenary. The only one with more iframes than me is the miner. Oh, right, I should probably hit that. Yes. So, he's just gonna... Alright, let's die! Um, yeah. I have a weird little pop-up box oh. thing. Game maker. <laughs> okay, alright, that was weird. Yeah, that was just a game maker thing. It's they have very distinct text box. They do. Oh God! But you saw they don't just explode. Box. They just throw bombs everywhere. <laughs> what, what happened? And we just exploded and threw bombs everywhere. That's what happened. Oh yeah, God! Man. Bombs! Nah. What is this? Also, why I have no sound? My sound turned way down. Like protect me while I music. <laughs> Why do I not have any sound? Is it in Windows? Oh! Oh, oh god. god. Oh! <laughs> there, did you? Oh, balls, I'm dead. Come on. Wait, what? Already? What? what? I was messing with sounds! <laughs> Am I the only one alive? No. Oh. Uh, Digi and I are still here. Oh, okay. No, why do I not have we sound? We are Ultra Scrub Lord. What the hell? Digi died. I don't even oh, no, see Risk of Rain in the, uh... Windows volume mixer. What is going on here? Oh boy. Oh. Uh... Huh? <laughs> right. Device. Wait. Ah! Those imps are terrifying with that thing. With the explode <laughs> on death. Oh my goodness. The uh, musician, the Ow. composer from this game, is working on one of those adventures. I don't know if you guys knew that. Oh, nice. No. Yeah. That's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Really like They're, the soundtrack uh, to this game. He's uploading some of the tracks already on his uh, SoundCloud. FTR is one of those games that I could never play my own music behind because I just enjoyed the soundtrack. <laughs> FTL? Yeah. Uh, Shane, that's F a different guy, but I mean, get what you're saying. Risk of Rain. <laughs> Risk of Rain, <laughs> FTL, like, they're like the two FTL games that I don't turn anything right. off. Very different guy from the FTL Chris. guy was supposed to do the music for Risk of Rain, and then they went with Chris, and I'm like, thank God you went with Chris. <laughs> <laughs> not a big fan of Ben. Of ben? Uh, not FTL. <laughs> ah. I I don't see how that music would work in this that kind oh, of. Oh yeah, no, in this, at all. I'd say the style definitely went well, or was better for this one. FTL had uh, had one memorable song for me. Why do I not have sounds? This drive me nuts. Uh, I don't dislike the music, but it gets hyped up like it's. You guys are all talking about the the uh, brisk rain music, and no one can even hear it on the stream. Oh, <laughs> this is terrible. Wow, wow. Well, to be fair, we're more talking about the FTL music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oof! Lots of missiles. Why, why are you not showing up in the volume mixer? That's weird. My playback device is set fine. The hell? Balls exploding everywhere. Bombs. Oh, balls! Because everybody loves this one. Exploding right. balls. Let me try switching this here. Now, God, if I do this, I'll probably break OBS if I mess around with my audio devices. Oh. Hmm. We'll find <laughs> out. All the war banners. <laughs> Oh man, I'm not doing too good. Ooh. 
I might hear an audio test here, guys. Okay, audio's working. Right. What the hell's going on? Well, you wanted, but stream would. <laughs> I'm dead anyway, so I might as well just... Do something while you're dead. <laughs> yeah. I can hear a little bit of the sound via bleed-through from somebody's microphone. Just a oh. little bit. Well, right. hey, that's the only way I can hear it. <laughs> you're hearing something. <laughs> Oh! Whoa! God, oh. Okay. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> I just saw a bunch of balls fly out of the screen. Like, yeah, yeah, that was the that was the boss dying. It's just, just yeah. so many bombs. <laughs> Seriously, why is this not in the volume mixer? <laughs> I was not expecting that volume. <laughs> uh. What? What? Did I activate the imp? What? What happened here? Who activated that shrine? Did you? Was that you? <laughs> I, I think it took my money. <laughs> I laughed silently. I was hoping that it would confuse you. Like I had a bunch of imps shooting out of my guy. I was like, what? What's happening? Apparently, it's just gonna not be sound, cause no, dude, we I need sound. We yeah, need to show Chris's awesome music. I want to, but it doesn't do it. I literally have no explanation for what's going on right now. His music actually fits pretty well into Beat Hazard too. Oh come on, there's gotta be treasure somewhere. I <laughs> have a single item. Come on. Oh, I see an artifact over there. If only we knew where he died. <laughs> no, I'm watching you, Digi. <laughs> the artifact was to your left, but if you've already got it, you might not see it. Alright, I was on the far, far left of the stage. Yeah. You have to do some fancy plat platforming. Which I can't do while dead. <laughs> nope. How do you even get that? <laughs> no, you can't get it on this level. Oh, hey! There we go. Alright, time to kick some butt. I don't think. Well, you might be able to. Hit the jumper. Uh... I think you have to get in, into there from above, did you? Hmm. Yeah. You, you hit a little That's... jumper and, and then there's like a... Ah, you see the path right there to your left, did you? Hit that jumper and go into that path yeah. to the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's two more chests at the top I can get for you. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with my item loadout, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, he, he, he can't do it, but uh, Ginger might be able to... Get up there. What was that? Oh yeah, the mercenaries. You might build a mercenary up there. Yeah, otherwise you need some rusty jetpacks. There, I'll buy that chest for you, Snake. Oh, I just got oh. a jetpack. Here, Ginger, grab this. Oh uh, wait. Oh. What? Oh, I bought that chest. It's Snake Eyes. I don't care. Oh <laughs> yeah, but I I bought a chest up here too, and it's the jetpack. Oh 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 I, oh I see. I'll take it so I can get the artifact for all of us. Yeah, I got you. Rusty jetpack. On the way. 7% movement speed, come on, let's do this! <laughs> Pulse go hoof! So now, yeah, we should be able to get that, because he'll have the added jump plus his... his spinny uh, thing. Spinny. The spinny spin. Spinny spin. Um, yes, yeah, so, no sound, really? I... I don't know what the hell's going on. It's not in the mixer whatsoever, which is really confusing me. Oh! <laughs> That is weird. Mm -hmm. Did you get an error on startup? I got a little strange pop-up box thing that just had OK on it when we loaded it, loaded into the multiplayer. Yeah, game. you might have you might have got a sound error. We probably should uh, start over. We we all got it. Like, we can still hear sound. Well, what you guys got it box a box? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it didn't have an error or anything. Just a little black box. With OK, That's... yeah, I know. It Anyways, was the game I got the box now oh, I think nice. about yeah. when I was preparing for the stream when I was getting I've ready quite for a few the times actually ever since the artifacts came out when I was there is uh, a uh, yeah there there the DLL sometimes glitches out uh, when I was preparing to you know uh, screen now. size and such to get uh, get it set up with my overlay for the stream um, I now that I think about it, I don't think there's sound then either and I just didn't notice it hmm <laughs> 
Just restart your computer real quick. Yeah. No, no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> really mess up the you stream the, and mess up my recording. You can actually load the soundtrack up if you go to a SoundCloud. You can yeah. play the soundtrack. I will try SoundCloud relaunching the game. Or something. But did you guys get the uh, artifact? Yep, we got yeah. it. Okay, well, exit the level so that registers that we got it and then we can st restart. Let's see oh, if I can okay. get this working. I can restart my game here. I mean, the only thing I did was break, turn off full screen mode compared to the last time I played it and apparently that destroyed the sound. I don't even know. All right, I, I quit out. Okay. Oh, all right. Apparently, yes, I don't have it in focus. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna turn off that window captures once I get this started. Uh, let me. I'm gonna go in the options and turn back on full screen. Maybe that'll fix it. So, no, just close the game and start it over. <laughs> For this window, I'll turn that off. Well, if the if the audio DLL failed to like initialize, it won't it won't matter what you do in game. Yeah, I'm just saying back to how it was before I messed with it last time, and then then relaunching it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from in, I remember they had some issues with. Uh, I'm not hearing the any audio DLL failing to initialize. I'm not hearing any audio during the whole intro thing here either, so this isn't looking good. Oh boy. Right, this... you should probably just load up the music. Uh, yeah, why not? SoundCloud or whatever. Let me see, see if it's showing up in the mixer this time or not. Is, are you at least getting sound effects or...? No. Not even those, uh... Nope, it's... Oh wait, Risk It's gonna be stupid, but did you check options? Yes. Yeah, he did. Okay. Actually, Risk of Rain's now in the um, in the mixer. Oh, it's in the mixer. At least, but yeah. But it's a full blast, isn't it? Was it oh. muted or? No, it's not muted right now. And mm. now my monitor is flipping out and losing signal. I have a terrible monitor. It does that now and then. Okay, that's back. Um, there is normally some sound in the uh, menus, right? Yeah, there's music. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to try real quick, like, getting into game here and see what it's doing on the mixer. You can get back in, uh, Ginger Dragon. Oh, alright. Yeah, still no sound. Huh. Oh, sniper. Well, why didn't that link work? Oh, it did work. Okay. That's really Thank weird. You. Yeah. Where is Might as well just load like? Chris's, uh, album up for the game and... You threw that in the chat, didn't you? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and then, uh... Also, Wanderlust, there's four Wanderlust Adventures songs released already. Yeah, well, let's, uh, let's do Wanderlust for, for right now. Oh, okay. We'll start with that. Let me lower that volume a little bit. There we go. Okay, online. Oh, good, it does save the information here. Yes, that's is real weird. trying to light a match or something. <laughs> yeah, I hear a noise. What is that? I was kind of worrying about that too, but uh, let's go back to hitbox here. So I'm messing up my that overlay. Digi? I think that's Digi. Also, Digi, why did you break my game? I, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I, I guess, you know, I just felt like it. Oh, uh, you broke Risk of Rain first. Like, you broke it before we even started playing. Yep. That's talent. Magic, right? Yeah, that's working along too. Yeah, I mean, you broke his game. Like that's scary, actually. Well, why would I break my own game? Just gonna break the universe. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> no bombs, be gone. You know, it would this uh, artifact thing wouldn't be as terrifying if it wasn't for the bombs just go flying. It's not just explodes on the spot. Actually, I like it. Adds right. to the chaos. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Besides, yeah. Fedor, you haven't even killed a boss yet. Just wait for that. That's fun. Mm -hmm. I learned the hard way. Yeah, the boss explodes into, like, Speaking 50. of boss. Oh, he's after me. Oh, alright. Ow! Oh, God, all the jellyfish. The mercenary's worst nightmare. Hey, Ow. Digi, come down here and Better help me hit. with one of these. I'm going to trigger it. Oh god, they explode in two. Oh! Oh dear. No! 
Die! Why aren't you dead? Oops. And Digi stole the item, didn't you, Digi? No, I picked up the monster lock. What? They didn't give us an item then. What the hell? What a ripoff. might have gotten away or something, maybe? Oh, know. God. Oh, well, that wasn't nearly as many as bombs. <laughs> oh, come on! Go ahead and grab it, Digi. <laughs> you know what? Take it, you weak scum with no iframes. <laughs> oh, God, bombs! <laughs> I must have got the final blow on that. Uh... Yeah, I guess so. Oh, so oh, many bombs! I got the final <laughs> blow and then all the balls exploded. I'll leave that alone. There's so many jokes that could be made. Yeah, I'll leave that one alone for right now. <laughs> oh, God. that out, you guys. Not, nobody, no takers, huh? No! <laughs> God, bombs, no! And for the longest time, the miner used to be my favorite character, which always boggled everyone's mind for some weird reason. God, miner's yeah, so bad. Miner's a miner doesn't die. <laughs> yeah, he's got a lot of invincibility frames. I'm gonna grab time. this. Yeah. I mean, if you use all his abilities right, you're basically untouchable. Oh, he's so annoying though. It's like I think it was Mike Mulbeck that when he tried to play him, he's like, I don't like the miner because every time I hit a press a button, I'm somewhere I don't want to be. Yeah, that's why he got massive moves because he's got yeah. like a forward dash that makes him invincible, a backwards dash that makes him invincible, a double jump. Oh and my god! His ulti also does something that makes him invincible. Hmm. He's the king of invincibility, which is why I liked him. Gave you that extra bit of survivability. Wait for me, I'll help you with those. This is great music to work along to. Oh, <laughs> I used to mow the lawn to this music. I kept feeling like a Lemurian would pop out in front of me or something. Die! Why are you not dead? These things have so much life. <laughs> it's we're gonna run out of time on that. Sorry, did you? I let one get away, and I fell down a hole trying to chase it, and it's over. No bombs flying everywhere. Uh, I can buy another round if you guys need it. Here, let me get up here no to help. Tests. All right. Yeah, I haven't. <laughs> go what? left, go all the headshots. <laughs> okay, go ahead and activate it. I never actually <laughs> thought about that. How the outlaw is basically the best imp killer. Goodness. Yeah, dude, just headshot, headshot, headshot. Shit. Did we miss one? He's this way. He's this way. Oh. Nice. Oh. Head stompers. There, there's your prize. Yes. What is this glowing thing? Oh, that's the arrow. I was like, what is this glowy thing next to me? <laughs> I haven't played for a little while. I, I haven't played at all since they put in the artifacts. I've been meaning to, but... I don't know if I like them. Bombs are horrifying. I accidentally reset my save data when I uh, reformatted my computer and I was just like, I don't have Huntress. I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> oh. We should be able to unlock the bandit for you. Possibly, if we kill the worm, we'll get the enforcer unlocked as well. I'm missing a couple. I'm missing Handy, and I don't remember who the other one is. The miner. After that, after that buff, the enforcer he actually became. I have Acrid. It might be the miner. I think it is the miner. I'm missing. Those are all single player. I haven't played the game single player, so I haven't unlocked those guys either. Oh my God! It's raining bombs. Hallelujah. Ah. Oh god, a parent. I don't like these guys. Okay. Uh, oh no, a parent. God yeah. help you, Fedora. Oh my oh, god. My. Oh my god. Oh, guys blow up real good. <laughs> uh, I might have just pooped myself a little bit. Jesus Christ. A little poop? A little bit. It's alright. Those those parents, my, two of them near each other, dying at the same time is terrifying. <laughs> oh man, that eviscerate is such a godsend when those bombs come a flying. Got our artifact. Nice. Ooh. Oh yeah, I see. There's that little hole in the floor now. Oh. Uh. Oh god damn it! Hear me? I'm the king of jumping on your head. No, go down the ladder. Oof. That, that so hurt. Where's the? Oh, here it is. 
Magma worm. Oh boy. Let's Magma get him. Hype. No, is it? Yep, there oh, he is. What is? Oh, double. Okay, oh, sure. Oh. oh. Wait, what? Why not? I'm... Oh. I need to find where these are at. I want to actually get in these boss fights, but there's a lot of. Oh God, I found him. Don't worry, it's the Oh God, he found me. Find you. <laughs> yeah, it'll find you. Uh, no. No, yeah. So many things up here. Oh, apparent and uh. Is someone dead? Yeah. Who would that be, Ginger? Since you answered. Yep. Well done. There were. Oh, you're ta you're playing <laughs> the Huntress. Don't you say even a word. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bombs. Oh God, get up, 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 up. Uh, oh, uh, magma worm. I have the, the healing drone that's very much like the only reason I'm still alive right now. I used to play the Huntress a lot, but it just got boring. <laughs> uh, just like, lol, you can't touch me and I can touch you. Ow. No, bombs. Oh god, I'm so close to dead. And bombs and bomb. No, no. No. How I'm not dead is amazing. I don't. Oh, wow, I about would have been dead if I went down there. Um, Keep going up, Fedora, you can make it. Except for the up is a dead end and there was a uh, yeah, I know a jellyfish know. chasing me. <laughs> oh god, jelly, no! Where is everybody else? <laughs> Why am I the only one around here? Uh, uh, oh. I have Did seven, I not have oh, the okay. guardian heart? What the heck? <laughs> How am I not? I'm dead. We didn't kill the magma worm? No. Nope. <laughs> ah! Oh. That was it. Man, you guys suck. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> we didn't make the game, so we don't know how you know how to play as well as you do, apparently. <laughs> I'm just playing. Yeah, you know the meta strats. <laughs> let's let's the go to something less terrifying. Mm. Chests no longer spawn? Let's do that. Oh. Oh god. <laughs> so so you're just making it harder. No, no, it, uh, it, it spawns map. items when they die now instead of having to pay for... Oh, I see. Ah. But like we still have exploding so things. At least they'll explode in items and... Oh no, they still explode. And, and bombs. Items and bombs, so... Okay, fine, ready. Not we're, as bad of an explosion. We're gonna get wrecked. Minor again. It's been a while. It's oh, so you're saying we suck? I was the last person to, to die. not play minor, but whatever. Uh, oh, I'm launching. <laughs> I was like, um... Also, I'm gonna switch over to the other soundtrack here. Okay, that's there forwards. You go. That's backwards. Don't die, man. Alright. Let's actually Got go to the Risk of Rain. Yeah, it's soundtrack. the Risk of Rain. Risk did rain it soundtrack. go through the four songs, probably? Yeah, it did. So I was like, let's go to a more fitting one. As good as the uh, Wanderlust soundtrack is, it's not really fitting for this game. No, no. Well, he needs to release more combat music. He only got, he only has a couple in there that are. Yeah, as where Risk of Rain is like entirely combat music, cause mm -hmm. there's like no non-combat in this game. Do you want me to hit this uh, teleporter? Yep. Oh, oh, hey, there it is. Come on, Wormy. Just gotta survive. Oh god, that platform got in the way. Woo! Here it comes. Oh, and bombs. Hey. These guys explode pretty significantly too. <laughs> and don't worry, with the miner, everything explodes. Ouch! Magma worm hugs are not nice hugs. No, they they hurt. Mm -hmm. Bombs be gone. Oh come on. I know. How is it not dead? That jackass. That was dead. That did you got the item? Oh, he wasn't even that. fighting it. <laughs> well done, man. did you? Well done. Ah. I hit it a couple of times. Didn't you lose that sport. shit? <laughs> Crap, jump better, please. <laughs> Bobs. Oh my. Eh. 
Ooh, med kit. I'll take that. Oh, good. Rare marble. <laughs> so on hitbox, hey. do you put what game you're playing, or is it? You can, yeah. Right. But I, I just leave it at podcasts and stuff, you know. I think they, I think they have a podcast category. I'm pretty sure I set it to that. I don't even know anymore. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you. you okay? I'm trying to bomb dodge. Get out. Ah, uh, the bombs follow me. They followed me home! Oops. Oh, yeah, I should probably stop looking for chests, considering they don't spawn anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. do you get shrines at all or anything? Uh, I haven't seen any. I don't I've never played with that artifact, so I was trying to figure out if those still appear or not. That poor Lemurian, you shot him off the side with an arrow. He fell down about, I, I just wager 20 feet, and I just bashed him in the back with two, two pickaxes. Honk. Yeah. That's how it's done. Guy did not have a good day. Okay, remaining enemy, <laughs> where the hell are you hiding? He was just trying to go to work. He's at the top right, don't worry. He's like crazy alien things jump down and start killing everybody. <laughs> yep. Alright, I got some prison shackles and BOOM! I got a med kit, that's it. Whoops. I got a med kit and a teddy bear, let's do this. I didn't have anything. We are set and ready to go! <laughs> let's fuck him up! So, uh... Tell Nerd! Nerd! <laughs> that's... God, so many bombs. Also, I think I need to turn the, this music uh, down champion, a little bit. What are they called? Champion Colossus. Protect me, Digi! Let me say as I fall miles and miles away. I'm not a good hero. Does SoundCloud have audio settings? Oh boy. So. Blighted Rock Golem. Oh boy. So the Blighted was. Uh, one of our answers towards reducing the number of enemies in the game. And uh, he spawns oh, nice. instead of like 15 gold regular golems, or something like that. Huh. But super harsh. Oh god! Get... He's actually kicking my butt right now. Oh, I'll take that. Oh, nice. nice. I'm trying to adjust audio, but now I'm being chased. That's awesome. Oh god! Oh god! They followed me! Oh god! Yep. No! Bombs. This is why you should play a audio when you become a DJ, that's just a regular occurrence. <laughs> God, they're still hitting me while I'm hanging out on a rope. That golem is still after me. Go away, dude. No one likes you. You're stupid. No, no one, one likes sure. you. I'm sure his mother liked him. No, no, no one don't like you. So why do you think he's been blighted? I mean, we're, we're the bad guys in Oops. this. Have you ever read the lore to this game? It's really oh, yeah, dark. I read the lore. <laughs> we're dicks. <laughs> like, <laughs> we went to this planet and killed everybody. Yay! They shot first. We'll go with that. Yeah. Well, technically they do. I mean, you can stand Ow! there and they'll attack you. <laughs> oh, there's an invisible, like, robot over here. Oh, oh I'm dying. <laughs> uh. No, quit following us. Oh, hey, yeah, let's go. Let's go play with the boss. Oh. No! Oh god! <laughs> Just got launched off the side of the cliff. Don't for don't worry, Fedora, you only have to kill 76 enemies. Are you all dead again? Yep. For the love of Christ, bunch of scrubs. <laughs> eh, I'm gonna kill the damn boss. There's a use item. I don't remember what that one does, but that's actually oh a really good. Oh my god! Fortress. Shattered mirror. 
There's a chain Whoa. of jellyfish. Oh. There you go. That hurt quite a bit. Also, Wiss, quit regen. Oh my god! Oh shit, The alien bombs! Man. The bombs! Wait, did he just double drop items? What? Oh my god. Those bombs. <laughs> Killed by jellyfish. That's terrible. Not really, man. When those jellyfish bunch up, their burst is incredible. Yeah. At least one more. Let's get... well, Why not? Hey, let's yes. let's try some other artifacts. What other ones are interesting? Enemies always spawn as elites. <laughs> <laughs> that Fucking do mean. it. Let's do it. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> Fedora doesn't even care anymore, just do it. <laughs> That's uh, more items. Yeah. Potential. Yeah. Yeah, Potentially. we'll make items spawn on death, so we'll get a bunch of badass items, maybe? Maybe. Characters run faster at lower health. That one's pretty funny. Um, I feel like that kill you just as much as it. Yeah, like... it's, it doesn't help you that much. All the enemies also run at <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> They don't specify that, I'm, so I'm sure a lot of people were yeah, yeah. horribly you surprised by players, that. But I'd, I'd hate to imagine the turtle guys, what's his name? The fat guy in the magma bear, I'd hate to imagine his speed. He's already fast and hard to hit. <laughs> Bosses with that, oh. Well, the... What was that? Yeah, cremator. Oh man, just going back and forth in the lava. Going back and forth and ignoring all damage from behind. Yeah, and wow. super fast. God, screw that. That would not be fun. I don't know what I picked. Uh, oh, all elites and um, no chests. Yep. Oh, man, look at that. Oh, they're shooting missiles already. Oh, good. Great first item. Well, that's not a... I mean... Oh, wait, what? Yeah, oh, wait, so no, it actually should be good because we're not spawning chests. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. That, right. That's, that's actually, actually... Really good. Never mind. Yeah, that's actually useful for the first time since that uh, item's that's creation. Old gun, then, uh... Goodbye. Ooh. That's why I like the sniper. Sniper's fun. Oh. It's hard. Fun. It's hard, but if you can get a good run going, oh baby. I like the sniper, I like the uh, crowbar and getting a couple, um, what do you call them, uh, drones or whatever, some gun drones with you to... Finish Wait, enemies what? off at their low health, so you don't waste your shot on them. That was the most clutch teleport I've ever seen. <laughs> oh wait! Right as I was about to pull the trigger. Oh, the enemy teleported. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this actually cuts down on the need to explore levels a lot when you do. Oh god. Oh, there oh. it is. We have a champion colossus. Let's speak of the devil. And I'll I'll drop on by. Ow, that hurt a lot. Alright. Yeah, I'm targeted. Oh god, there's people in the way though. Hold on. Oh jeez, I, I wow, I dead. Wow, that was fast. That hurt a lot. <laughs> Dude, he's making all missile uh people. Yeah, I don't think that's missile people, is it? Yeah, no, they aren't firing any missiles. Oh, they're leaving trails of fire. Here we go, here we go, we got the shot! Boom! Oh no! <laughs> what just happened? Dude, the Lemurian jumped in front of him right when he put right. the as I took the <laughs> shot. The shot. The... God damn it. Take away from the team! No, just... it, it was, was like, never was going shot, to be a better shot jumped. than that. Oh, that was that classic. Sucks. <laughs> I mean, oh. thankfully it's got piercing, so I still got it. No, no, wait, 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 wait! Did... Oh. The crap. <laughs> I thought you were about to walk into it. No, no, I, it's okay. I'll take these. I thought uh, Ginger Dragon could have used that one. Commando is just worse. He yeah, not. Yeah, he would just be shooting that sniper shot constantly. You know, I never, I never. That's, like that sniper shot counts as a crit, right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I never really liked Sniper much, but I only tried to play him in multi in, in single player. Well, it seems like you or, or me would have done better with that. I don't. Uh, Digi came in and swiped. Pretty hard to break. <laughs> he, he ninja shit. <laughs> scumbag. 
Oh, nice. Ooh. Oh, uh, well, that'll be nice. Yes. Oh, you thought I was going to pick it up. That's why you kept walking yeah. that way. Oh, yeah. okay. It wasn't like until you said, wait, 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 as I was at it. So I was like, oh, crap. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah, the sniper definitely seems a lot more useful in multiplayer than in single player. Not really, because, I mean, the whole thing about sniper is just killing things. You just can't fall behind. Like, when you start falling behind, that means you get fewer items, and you start dealing less damage, and you lose the sniper's edge. Which is why it's hard to play him, you know? You've really got to pick your fights, I suppose. Ooh, uh, you want that? Sure. All right. I want items, but I'm dead. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> So it makes me feel better. I've got spike strips and an item that helps all of us. So, yeah, I've got monster tooth, uh, jetpack, critical uh, <laughs> chance, with glasses, and spike strips. Spike strips are the best. That's what I heard. I think I got. I think I stacked 63 spike strips on one of those runs. We Guys, come on. <laughs> what are you doing? Let's go. Let's go. Let's move. It said to me Wait. that there was a remaining enemy, so I couldn't do it. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Bad multiplayer coding. Who wrote this code again? Gosh, I don't know. He's. I heard he's a jerk, though. He like doesn't add stream friends on his Skype or something. Let's <laughs> go. <Scum. laughs> All right. Now I'll try to stay alive long enough to actually get some items. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. The last time I was spamming all the Twitch streamers on Skype, oh, I got a message from. Uh, Spencer Hayes, who at the time was a streamer for Destructoid, he was like, oh, "You didn't spam, you didn't spam me." I was like, "Oh, <laughs> wait, drone, come back! I regret using you on that golem." And then Digi this time, what? I'm not one of your Skype friends. To be fair, that's more my fault. Like, we're I never even enemies at it. <laughs> oh hey, uh, by us. Oh hey. Uh, yeah, I mean, any any streamers. Honestly, I'll I'll add them to my Skype. Doesn't matter who you are. Yeah, I, I used to play MOBAs so like competitively that I got in the bad habit of just not ever giving it out. Do we have oh, a sure. a melee uh, character? You don't have any items. No, we don't. Okay. Not this time. In the end, you're the one who's kiting, so I'd imagine you'll be running and warping through enemies. A yeah, I do that. I, I do that a lot. <laughs> I don't know why I'm exploring. There's no chests or shrines or anything. I know. Uh, yeah, we gotta find the teleporter though. It's up here. Nice. Yeah. Okay, we got away. I'm gonna hit the teleporter. Alright. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh god. Oh, oh dear god. god. There he is. Oh, no, no. Why? Oh, there's what? two of them. Oh, he leaps. Oh my god. Why do we do this to ourselves? Oh boy. RIP! Oh god! <laughs> Ow! They have... This is not oh. good. Oh Jesus! Worms and parents and uh... This hey, is... The gold bomb takes too long to explode. I don't think I've hit anything with it. Gasoline, oh, that's boy. useful. Ow, oh ow. my god! Worm hurt. I heard that. Oh. oh god! Ow! This is brutal. This yeah, is. A bit. Oh! Why? Alright. Woo! Kite more, just keep kiting it. Oh, whoa! Yeah, yeah, there's too many things on me. Rocket, robots. Okay, I'm falling down here. It's getting. Okay, it's not better down here. Oh, it's not better much. anywhere. The worms are. Oh! <laughs> I think Ginger Drag is dead. Oh! They just, they just pincered me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We just got wow. wrecked hard. That sucked. Oh! <laughs> the worms. All of our bodies. Right. Worms like from the left, and it's like, okay, I'm dead. Our bodies are pretty concentrated in the same area. <laughs> <sighs> All right. I think that's enough of risks of rain here. <laughs> Those artifacts are awesome yet terrifying. Oh yeah, fun times. I thought we would have got more items than than we did. 
Yeah, the problem is that, I mean, I'm still surprised because we still ended up picking up the 54 leaf clover or whatever it was, 56, but I'm not sure. Yeah. If, I don't think sacrifice actually procs on elites only. Like, I think it's just gen in general. Mm, now I've heard of people getting like four or five of those and elites only running just everything which is pooping items constantly. Well, no, no, we're talking about the artifact. Like, yeah, the, the, the clover does only proc on elites. Yeah. Which is a great thing to get on Elite only, as long as you can survive long enough for it to pay off. Yeah. We did actually get one of those, it just didn't proc very often. Mm. Uh. And we're going to do something a little considerably different than normal for our Kickstar Spotlight, because there's I couldn't find any interesting Kickstars going on. So we're going to talk about one that's actually ended, but it's still accepting donations, which I'm just going to go ahead and play the trailer. And that is the absolutely kick-ass trailer for Witch Marsh, which was very successfully funded, and that Leth is actually working on. Yep. <laughs> yeah, this um, game. I need this game. Welcome to the Leth Power Hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Works on everything. <clears throat> so what are you working on for Witch Marsh, by the way? Are you just doing uh, their multiplayer they, again, or...? They brought me in for that, but I'm going to be doing anything that's beyond their current coder pretty much uh, like AI and um, saving systems and the online multiplayer uh, was primarily what I was bought, uh, brought on and optimizing and stuff like that just anything I mean their their uh, current coder is their artist so mm. he's using we're using uh, game maker studio but he, this is all new for him so I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let him handle the the easier stuff like uh, HUD design and interaction and control schemes and stuff like that and then just touch up any of those that need to be worked on when I when I look at them later I haven't actually uh, worked on that code worked on that game just yet they are working on it though you're becoming the go-to guy for multiplayer <laughs> yeah with game maker why not yeah I I, I mean uh, I've been doing multiplayer coding and game maker since Game Maker 4.3, Game so. Maker can do some amazing things. I pray with us. No, mm -hmm. Risk of Rain was made in Game Maker, and then Witch Marsh, which already oh, looks so good, is made yeah. in Game Maker. Oh yeah, there's a number of great Game Maker games. Spelunky <coughs> was prototyped in Game Maker. Hotline Miami, Gunpoint, Valdis Story. Yeah, you can uh, do good stuff in it. Like this goes on and on. You just have to know the limitations and and work within them, and you can do good things. By far the standout thing about Wish Marsh to me is the, all that pixel art. It's so oh good. Oh my god. It's oh amazing. yeah. It actually reminds me of uh, Risk of Rain's pixel art a bit. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people were kind of like, this looks like Risk of Rain. And I'm like, really? I mean, it's... I, like, definitely not completely. It's a whole other aesthetic, too. But yeah. I, it looks like, you know, I can definitely see some similarities. Yeah. I could, it's, you know, there's... You can make some comparisons, or I understand why it reminds people of... Mm -hmm. Risk of Rain. Risk of Rain's uh, beautifully done as well. It's really difficult to make characters as small as they are in that game. They don't and look like blobs. Look, yeah. Yeah. Really challenging to do that, and uh, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, where Witch Marsh definitely has larger characters, so you get mm -hmm. more detail in there. I know there's some really uh -oh. good... Uh... <laughs> I can't wait to get started on Witch Marsh, but... Um, I, I have to focus. I'm focused on Wonderless Adventures right now. 
And so, yeah, tiny pixels. Yeah, it's very accessible. It's uh, like you can just use only drag and drop tools to help you get things together. It's mm -hmm. far easier than a coding language. Oh yeah. It's, and then of course there is an actual coding language too that you can use. Right. The thing about Witch Marsh is not just the good pixel art. Cause there's quite a few games out there that have great pixel art but don't stand out as much as this because the animations are so damn good too. Even on like on par with Chasm, which has great animations. Mm hmm. Yeah. So they have their their pixel art guy, and he's uh he's just he's basically using Game Maker to um you know test the animations and stuff like that, and ends up you know just coding. You know he's designing the HUDs and the character creation menu and stuff like that. And I'm super happy not to not have to do those parts of the game. I just got, I'm trying to finish an an online RPG game, and I've done one before. There are ton, there are a ton of work, uh, but you know he can focus on the simpler tasks and get things working single player. Which and then, then he's like, if yeah, AI to do this crazy thing, then I get mm -hmm. to go and jump in and do do that part for him. Which also gives him more time to do what he's really good at, which is the art. Yes, because he's very yeah, talented really, at that's that. Any Oh, project yeah. manager worth his salt <laughs> is going to focus on keeping people doing what they're best at mm -hmm. and not have them stretch into areas that uh, somebody else can do better. It's yeah, really cool. That... This game in Tenchi's chat, the thing that really sold me and like made me want to back this is the huge part about character creation with like 50 unlockable abilities and different like um playable characters with personality results and things like that like it's very interesting mechanics it's adding to the game i also love this gif with this giant guy dragging this huge sword while his archers trying to do something against him <laughs> yeah i love this yeah GIF. I, I saw that uh i saw that image long before they posted it and um it just makes you wonder it kind of has this Dark Souls feel to it, you know. Like you, you're just like, okay, what's going on here? Can you kill this guy? Like, is he gonna attack you? Do you have to run past him? What do you do? You know, it looks pretty terrifying. Cause you're like, what, what, what do I do? It's this is wall. Yeah, of... I imagine. Uh, I imagine he attacks really slow, and you just have to run away. I, I don't see how you can hurt, hurt him. Yeah. Uh, who Doesn't knows? Doesn't even look like he's taking damage, really. That sword. Looks... <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's not. <laughs> that sword is very intimidating. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. That's a sad. Like I'm not gonna say it again. Body. This game is gonna be incredible. It and is. I'm so oh, yeah. stoked about being on the project. Uh, they they reached out to YoYo -Yo Games, who who made Game Maker, and said, you know, we need a we need an experienced programmer who who has uh, who's done work in multiplayer, and asked them to retweet it. And then so I follow YoYo -Yo Games, and I saw the retweet, and that's how we got in touch back in like January this year. And uh, interestingly enough, they were talking to a, another publisher, not Chucklefish, but another one that uh, uh, was offering them, you know, an advance and uh, some money to help them get started on the project. And all you have to do, all they would have to do, is give give up fifty percent of their revenue and up to forty percent of their Kickstarter revenue. Yeah, so well, that's the scummiest was, thing because people donating to Kickstarter so donate to the game being made, not donating to some publisher's pocket right that's it's, it was awful i i came in i got on the skype call with them and they told me about it and i was like if you take that deal i'm not gonna work with you <laughs> that's and not a deal like, at all okay, that's a rip off we're not <laughs> taking that deal <laughs> i was like look just just say no to them don't burn any bridges just say we're gonna go look at other options and i'll put you and in my a other call options with, uh, chuckle chucklefish fish. yeah <laughs> yeah so I had a feeling Chucklefish would warm up to the idea of, of uh, publishing this game once they had something playable. And so, so is there something playable in existence at this point? Oh, uh, I guess the implication with what I just said was... <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't say. Oh. Uh. <laughs> no, I do do a video series. So basically not for the public. <laughs> right, no, there's no, there's no demo or anything right now. Um, they did do a little combat demo. That's, I mean, that's how they made these videos. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that was excited. playable. So, so disappointed yeah, now. I sent that over to, to uh, Tai Yuri at Chucklefish, and he showed it to 
the team members and they were all just like, okay, yeah, this looks this looks amazing and it's fun. So yeah, let's go for it. The yeah. character designs, uh, this guy, this like demon dryad guy on the left in the second row looks fantastic. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I also like the big mobster guy. He's just well, he's wearing a fedora, so clearly there's a reason I like that. But <laughs> <God>. <laughs> there's so many interesting. They could have just picked one character and centered the game around that one character, and instead they have like 15 amazingly designed yes. characters. Yeah, looks like there's a werewolf on the bottom right. He does look very oh, wolfy. Yeah. yeah, or he just That's really needs to thing. shave. <laughs> Um, don't, yeah, was he the archer? Looks like it. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, he is. An archer werewolf, why not? Archer, archer werewolf. God, <laughs> something about that doesn't seem right. And then you got the school teacher up here on the top right, and... Oh, you know what it is, it's because he's in human form and he's weak. There you go. Uh, I want this game. So, you said you haven't yet started working on it, so I guess that means it's still a ways off before we can actually see this game. And play this yeah, game. Yeah, they... Aww. They um they are working on it. Uh, they don't need me yet, and I'm totally happy to not work on it just yet because I'm focused on adventures. And they they knew that when they they brought me on that I'd be busy this year with with that game. And yeah, it makes uh, good timing. You know, they they have their own stuff to work on where you finish up your own project. You know. <laughs> yeah, there there's plenty to do before they need me. So, uh, I think it'll work out perfectly. Oh, I want it though. I want this to be done tomorrow. I'm sure I'll be streaming development on this game in the future. Uh, all the gifts. They did their Kickstarter page right. All the gifts on your Kickstarter page. Just uh. give me all the gifts. <laughs> oh, that's badass. The that great fire. thing about left stream like streaming his development is you can go and see what he does. You can go and watch like how much he puts into these games. But the downside is when he's like testing things, like you want to watch spoilers. because you want these games, but you don't want the spoilers. Like I have that problem with Wanderlust. Like I'll sit there and left stream, and like he'll start running around in the world, and I'm like, yeah, this looks really good. And then also I'm like, no, I can't watch this because yeah. I don't see what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that will. This I mean, Wanderlust Adventures is at its core uh, a combat game, but a huge focus. I, I've been uh, focused on putting. it uh, making an adventure game, stuff that, you know, a game where you're running around and discovering things and... and uh, Fulfilling your lust to wander. Right, exactly. There's got to be reasons to want to move around the world, so that's what we're trying to fill the world up with right now. And and uh, if you watch my stream, then you're, you're definitely going to uh, get spoiled. And if you're excited about the game, I don't uh, hold it against anybody for <laughs> for avoiding... <laughs> my broadcast at all. I understand that completely. And I've been trying to stream a little bit less because of that uh, as we near completing the game. I don't want to stream many more quests related things and stuff like that. Uh, oh, look at this. We know this guy here. right here. This uh, hey. code. Who is he again? Yeah, he's, he's that guy that does things. <laughs> Now, I like how there's a, a pixel art representation of each of the uh, people on the team, but you can definitely tell the artist did the art, because he's yeah. like this badass-looking hero, and everyone else is just kind of nerdy-looking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at that, he's like the totally... badass. <laughs> you yeah, hear this, this nerd that. standing there? Like, look at this nerd. Yeah, that's... Yep. <laughs> I'd do it, too, if I was the one with that talent. Yeah. Oh, God, I That's wonder how true, much though. I'd That's pay hilarious. him to make a, a, a pixel art version of me. I want that now. <laughs> it's good pixel art, that's for certain. It is. Real good. Oh, man. He just sends out so much of the rest of these. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, he's just like this epic sword-wielding hero guy. And... He's standing on a pile of skulls, it looks like. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Open chest shirt and everything. <laughs> oh, this guy's wonderful. I like him already. <laughs> that, that's great. Okay, Wanderlust. Oh, the setting. So good. I don't think I know of any other game with a setting like this one. In Witchmarsh? Yes. No, Wanderlust. I said Wanderlust, didn't I? Words don't yeah, come yeah. out right today. Yeah, 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 it's been that day. Yes, it has. Uh, yeah. But it's like 1950s, 1850s, 1950s? What? Am I 30s? 
30s, 30s, there we go, yeah. 30s paranormal investigation is the whole kind of setting for this. And oh, it's man. wonderful. Such a cool idea. It is. <clears throat> oh, no. Uh, the more I look at it, the more I want it. So, like, hurry up and make this game, Leth. Sorry. <laughs> I'll be working on it pretty soon. I, I like this as well. You, you look at, like, all of the different places that have given quotes and, like, you know, reviews of the game. And you see Crypt of Necrodancer, and it's just, wow, which marshes it looks amazeballs. And then, like, the little smiley. <laughs> Amazing. Like, yeah, oh, that's because I got the uh, <laughs> my Skype. <laughs> I was like, I was like, here, dude, look at the game. I'm, I'm a, uh, it's a Kickstarter I'm on, and and then he uh, replied with that, and I was like, can I quote you on that? And he's like, yeah, sure. <laughs> 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 so I sent the quote over to, to, uh, Lou, the project lead for for Witch Marsh, and he was like, oh, Krypton the Necro Dancer. I was like, yeah, man, I just showed it to him, and this is what he said. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's the quote there. Right out of Skype. It's oh. a good quote to have. I mean, especially with Nickelodeon's oh, yeah. size now. Yeah, that was, you know, within a day of the Kickstarter launching, I started sharing it with, with people that I knew and trying to get quotes to put up on there because I just figured, you know, those quotes, like, help a lot. Uh, when people are just perusing the page and they see Rock, Paper, Shotgun, or PC Gamer, or whoever, yep. it just adds credibility to the project. Yeah. The game has fedoras, so I'm in regardless. Yeah. I wish it didn't work that way. I mean, those those larger magazines and things don't do much for indie games. Mm -hmm. uh, like, because the people who are following the larger magazines are people who follow the AAA titles in general. So it's like, they usually just, from what I gather, from the statistics that I've seen in, on my end and with other developers that I talk to, um, it doesn't make the, that much of an impact to have exposure through those those places. I know for me, whenever I see a quote from Toll Biscuit or Northern Lion or something like that, it's just like, okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah see, that holds so more weight for me too. Going more towards the social, the social uh, networking aspects, like YouTube content creators and streamers. Mm -hmm. uh, that's definitely been my focus for the past year or so. This... It feels a lot more real when it comes from people like Northern Lion and Total Biscuit as well, because you, mm -hmm. they're a lot more relatable than a big corporation that yeah. is just gonna. Nine times out of ten, they're just going to say good things and just like let it go and never talk about it again. Whereas, like, people like Northern Lion, you'll see them playing the game, you'll see them like talking about the game. Like, they actually communicate with people mm -hmm. instead of just saying words towards an audience, if that makes sense. Well, articles also now, because it's all online, there's no more print media, uh, their clickbait is like a big thing, you know, that whole mm -hmm. like, we got to sensationalize somehow this story in order to oh, get yeah, like the, like the, the twitch the twitch and google thing is a massive like a massive example of that it keeps coming out every couple of months that that kind of yeah. thing has happened just for places to get their clicks and yeah and so the fear that developers have um or at least i can speak for myself for sure um but i know some other developers who i've talked to about this and they and it kind of sounds reasonable to them as well is that you know the pressure for for an article to get clicks, you know, they're not going to want to cover some some just indie game that nobody knows about because people won't click that. So they got to <laughs> sensationalize it a little bit somehow. Talk about how the developers poor or the game is shit is an often go to move for for yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, journalists. Like they they just write like a slander hate piece basically about a game. Yeah. Um, or in order to fabricate kind of controversy of some sort right um and those that journalism drives me crazy man like mm -hmm. uh we we get a lot of hate we got a lot of hate pieces uh, about uh, wanderlust just because it's a hard game oh, and they just they they have, they have trouble with the game and then they just look for they just make up reasons to say the game is bad and they start uh they said, like, it's bad that it does this. And we're like, dude, it does that for a reason. Like, <laughs> you it's know, got you... low-res pixel art. It's bad. Right. You know, they'll just focus on things they don't know anything about. You know, and it's just like, okay. You know, somewhere they decided, ah, I struggled on the last boss. Didn't like the ending. Whatever. I'm just going to write a whole article about how bad this game is. And, and that way people will click on it because people love to read that shit. Yeah. Mm. You it's, don't see that with YouTube. It's YouTubes. a challenge. YouTubers, you know, they don't do that kind of stuff. Not, no, not usually. Uh, 
I mean, and uh, I love the Twitch community and and uh, Hitbox communities because they they they're playing it in real time and interacting with people, and people can see. You know, you when you read an article, you can't see the game. Yeah. You're just like reading what they're saying, and not really. You you have to take their opinion, uh, and you know what? How you convert that into your own? I don't know. I don't. I don't even read those articles anymore. I think I'd rather just make my own decision. Uh, and with the YouTube in video yeah. format, you can tell if it's because the person just is terrible at it. Yeah, if you're sat there saying, "Oh, this game shit," because I can't do this, and like there's people watching, you're just gonna get comments or people saying like, "This oh, is bad." Right. 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 You you can't really make up like oh the game's terrible because of this because they're watching the same thing like and they're, they're like no you're just shit like, <laughs> yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah they're, that's they're, true I didn't really think about that that they get to sit there and watch game. like oh the the attack pans or something and then you're like this really idiot person that's just like swinging in between each of them instead of like actually doing what you need to do to fight this thing you just like run it at face first and people are just like you're you're dumb. <laughs> Whereas if you do that on an article, like you can't see how they play, you can't see like their their skill level at a game. So them saying, "Oh, it's bad because of this, this, and this," like it could be their fault that these things have happened. And, and you got even, you I mean, know. a lot of a lot of things that are bad about a game. It comes down to uh, what's it called subjectivity. So you know, some something you don't like, someone else might like, which is another reason why I like the YouTube format because and streaming format because you know. Someone can actually see the game and they can think, "Hey, I actually kind of like that, even though you don't." You know, well, Wanderlust Rebirth sold pretty well in terms of units sold. Like, it's a really high number uh, in the six digits. So we're like, okay, there's a lot of people out there who have it. Um, the wish list was really high too. Hmm. Um, but part of part of the reason why we think some people were kind of like taken aback by the game or disappointed with it is because of the perception that it would be a an RPG where you could kind of roam around and discover things and stuff like that, and it really is more like a Castle Crashers game. Hmm. And we marketed it as an arcade action RPG, which we thought would bring in like the Gauntlet or the the old Dungeons and Dragons or Captain America and the Adventures type of a crowd. You know, the mm -hmm. co-op games where you have special moves and. and it's we really reminded me of Gauntlet. <laughs> yeah, um, but uh, it. I think we brought in like the Diablo crowd, and they were a little with the pacing and the linearity of it so adventures is definitely reaching out to that crowd a lot a lot better all right so, uh, i expect to have much better feedback and and uh, acceptance from the crowd the rpg crowds this time around hmm. uh, i'm watching this gift still in, in chat i can't stop watching it i know i yes <laughs> <laughs> i've been kind of eyeballing it too Come on, i've man. been doing that the same shot. thing but with the so fire axe gif oh yeah that one's great too. Like, I think just looks great. <laughs> I fully expect like the entire YouTube and streaming community to be all over this game when it's out. I fully I intend <laughs> to do like a multiplayer series of it because it just looks so fantastic. Hey, Tenchi's in here. Hey, Tenchi, we're about to wrap yeah, up. Uh, hi, Tenchi. Hey, is he here? Talk talking of Tenchi, I was actually gonna try and get him to play this when it comes out as a co-op thing. Both of us are streaming yeah. together. Oh yeah, dude, I'm all uh, down. I'm down for that. I always love playing co-op games. God, I want this game. So, you know, I know there's no rock solid day, but like in your head, how long do you think till Witch March is going to be out? Like next year at least? Yeah, end uh, of next year at the oh, earliest soda. So far away. <laughs> I know. I need a damn time machine. Oh, yeah. and just go forward, think, buy a copy we'll of it, have, and bring uh, it back. We'll have Wanderlust out before then to hold you guys over. Yeah, there you uh, go. Uh, I would and actually... I've got another secret project I'm working on too that I haven't announced yet. Oh. Uh, any any hints? Any any kind of details on that? Uh, no, not really. Uh, <laughs> all, all I know is my bank account's already crying. <laughs> <laughs> I would actually nah, love to you have you like six of my games for the price of one uh, AAA title, man. I know how you are. You always buy those AAA games. Just just for forego buying Call of Duty 14 next year. Oh, God. Get like six what more kind games. of game do you think but I it am? has spider games? tanks <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus uh, anyway I okay. would love to have you back on the podcast again once Wanderlust Adventures is out so we can show that off sure it'd be awesome yeah I'll definitely be doing my PR rounds and talking to anybody who's willing to listen actually after uh, I get the patching done 
I'm assuming. Right. <laughs> right. Well, we're going to do a beta um, with the game, which means we'll launch Wandos Adventures to the public prior to the launch of the game on Steam um, to get people to kind of start playing early and help us find bugs before we launch on Steam. I don't want to launch on Steam with a bunch of bugs. I mean, right. Nobody wants that. that. With, Nobody uh, wants that. Oh. Yeah, it's an just online feeding game. The, uh, the articles we were just talking about. That. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, and they don't realize that there's one coder. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> there's one coder, and and uh, I have to code it and debug it all myself. And then after I debug it, I send it to a few guys that I know and say, "Come on, try and play this. See if you can find this bug." I mean, I can't, in an open world game, one guy who should be coding rather than playing can't simply can't uh, test it all. Uh, effectively, so just send one to Ditchy. Hey, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll get you all. We'll, we'll get everybody in there. It's it's going to be open. We're going to have a page up, and you could buy uh, the game. Get the you want someone to break your game? I'm I'm right here. Right. <laughs> we we'll need that. Yeah, we'll need that. It is a useful talent sometimes. Right. Yeah. It's a useful talent I, pre-release. I like hearing about it, but yeah. it's it's useful. Uh, it's useful talent pre-release. When you do it to a game post-release, then they hate you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not be a happy camper all right well let's go ahead and do our wrap up since we are starting we are well over which you know happens now and then because games are too good yep and yep. uh let's start with uh digi go ahead and tell people where they can find you what you do and throw some links in the chat for people i am a variety caster over on twitch tv i cover games from indie games to AAA titles i do multiplayer weekends which we're actually in the middle of doing this weekend where people can come and join and hang out with us and we just have pretty much a good time trying to build up like a, a community that people can feel welcome in no matter their background anything else I'm, I'm all about you know everyone just coming and having a good time anybody wants to mess with that we get rid of that very quickly um, and you can find me on that link and find me on Twitter posting random things like pug pictures to Tenchi uh, <laughs> Plus, well, he has a British sure accent. Enough <laughs> said. It's all you need to know. He has a British accent. Go watch his streams. And I occasionally get people come in the chat and tell me to stop trying to sound like Rorschach and Batman. So I sit there and do nothing but those quotes over and over. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and how uh, left? You're up. Throw some links down. Tell me where they can find you. All that. Oh yeah, you can. I, I'm definitely. Uh active on Twitter. That's the best way to reach out to me if you're not on my Skype. That's how I got him um, on my, here. Yeah, my, my Twitter is Griffin Matta, or Griffin Matta, G-R-I-F-F-I-N-M-A-T-T-A. And I stream at uh, Twitch TV slash Leth, L-E-T-H, uh, for those of you watching on YouTube in the future. Um, definitely uh, look out for me there. I just hit a thousand followers, actually. I'm kind of hyped. Awesome. About that nice. on a on on Twitter, I have like four thousand or almost four thousand on on Twitch. But uh, sorry about the squeaky chair too. I don't know if that's coming through. A little bit. It's not chair. a big deal. <laughs> Barely audible, really. Professional. Uh, but um, no, thanks for having me on, and we'll definitely do it again when uh, One of the Adventures is in beta or uh, is out. Whenever you get around to including it on your podcast, I'd be happy to hop back on. Uh, it'd be awesome. And uh, Ginger Dragon, you go ahead. All right. Well, you can follow me on my Twitter where I talk about video games. I tend to live tweet my playthroughs of video games that I otherwise, you know, either don't have the time to stream or don't really want to stream or uh, record. And, like, speaking of streaming, you can go to my Twitch where I do stream games. I'll, I don't know. Lately, I've been thinking about streaming me, like, obtaining my first impressions for my YouTube series. So that'll probably be something that happens. But other than that, I'll just stream any kind of game, really. I don't have limits or preferences, I suppose. I'll stream a game if I think it'll be fun. And then on the YouTube, I, of course, ha do uh, LPs like every single other person out there. Also, first impressions like also every single other person out there. But mine are special because they're me. Because he's a dragon. So go check him out. Yeah, that, I followed cool. Ginger Dragon just now. <laughs> Thank you. Looking forward <laughs> to watching you stream. I, I'm a big believer in streaming over uh, YouTube. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't understand Ouch. why anybody would would do YouTube content over streaming, but it's because I mean, you can like make it a bit nicer, you know. Like you can yeah. put in more editing, post effect. Well, I shouldn't say stuff like that, but you know, 
you can, can sort of polish it up a bit more before release. Yeah, uh, I guess live streaming is is a different kind of yeah. beast. Yeah, they're like because live streaming is more like community interaction, and you know, that, yeah, that's that's kind of the big thing. Whereas YouTube is at least if you're doing it right, YouTube is a bit more about putting out some more professional type videos, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know. It's so hard. Like it sounds pretentious when I say it like that. <laughs> you know what I mean, though. No, I. Well, you take it the other way. It's hard to. It's harder to be professional in the live setting. Mm -hmm. It's much easier to be able to to do it. Also, uh, it's a special kind of talent to be able to read, like, pay attention to chat and effectively play a video game. That no shit's kidding. not easy. That shit's <laughs> not easy. No, it is not. <laughs> And I am, of course, Fedora Gamer, the host here. Um, my live stream is here on Hitbox, which is primarily just the weekly podcast. I am primarily a YouTuber, which I guess makes me scum in less size, as you just said. But, scum, scumbag. No, yeah. I, I didn't say that. <laughs> Can I Come over to the stream side. I would yeah, like to yeah. stream more often. I, I get into some charity streams now and then and, and take part in that when I can, but... God, I wish I had more time and I could stream more often. But I'm primarily a YouTuber focused entirely on indie games over at YouTube.com slash Fedora Gamer with a 4 for the A in Gamer. And I know it's extremely awkward to say out loud. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, same name, Twitter.com slash Fedora Gamer. And anyone watching this on my channel that doesn't know who Tenshi is, you see this guy here in chat, you should go follow his Twitch channel because he is seriously my favorite streamer. Unfortunately, my, good guy. my new job gets in the way of me... <laughs> making it to his streams that often anymore but still great guy you should check out his streams and that's um twitch.tv slash hj tenchi you should check that out he and... also has a lot of cool highlights now because he finally gave himself some meadows nice mm. and he loves pugs so tweet pug pictures at him do it there you go <laughs> all the pug pictures <laughs> Uh, All right, and it's about time to wrap it up. We're only 28 minutes over this week. That's about the same as last week, actually. Yeah. <laughs> and we didn't even do news uh, this I week, thought either. We were, uh, I thought nope. we were about to start. It's closing in on 5 p.m. PST here. Right. Oh, yeah, you're only... It's, it's 4.30 for you. So, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that, was just the, that was just the pre-show. Get ready, guys. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we were just getting warmed up. Yeah. <laughs> Which is good because our risk of rain yeah. did not go That's well. Sigh, so we'll though. do better next time. I that sigh, fedora right there. <laughs> I fail at time zones. I uh, time zones. Why do you even exist? Everywhere should just be the same time. I don't care if noon is pitch black for you where you live. It should be the same time. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, thanks for having me on. Yep. Yeah, bye, guys. Bye, everybody. Thanks. Bye. -bye. <laughs> See ya.